where we last took off. You guys have defeated Slizvernik, the first godkin of many. Oh boy. As he, he is personally named four of them, the Mad King, the Emperor, Calamitos, and which one, which one was it? I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, so the names were. If I can fucking find it. <laughs> the names were the Mad King, Lord Grievance, Calamitos, and the Emperor. That is the four that he has told you. But he is, but he also did tell you, in his spirit form at least, as a ghost, that there might be more that he is unsure of. After hearing such information, you guys made your way back to the town of Haven. Brand and Sigurd coming along with you. Everyone else gets there. You all rest. In the morning, you guys, in the morning, you guys meet up again. Brand gathers you all together, and then he looks at you all, and he says, It seems that we have defeated a very powerful foe. I will honor, I will honor my end of the deal. I have helped you save your friends, so now you will help me clear out this bandit infestation. Ricka kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of what motion he does. I guess he doesn't do motion, he kind of just stands firm and goes, of course we'll help. Brand nods. As he looks around the rest of the party. And from what I'm aware, this used to be a mine called East. The mine was called East F East Fall Mine. That's what that's what it was called, East Fall Mine. Years ago, the king sent some excavators in there, and apparently they found some ruins. We didn't get to explore much before the bandits took over. Their leader, Wolf, that we know of at least. He's a very cunning and very ruthless man. And he apparently, I've heard that he has a lot of money and a lot of power. So perhaps he also hired some mercenaries as well. We do not know what their plans are, but we must stop them. That and I have heard that they have attacked this town here. I was not here when it happened, so. Hmm. Well, off we are then. Indeed. Anyway, as you all then embark onto your next mission here, you arrive, it's about early morning, as you all got up, rel as Brand asked all of you to get up relatively early, so you could s at least get there with some, seeming that with some detection, or with some coverage at least. You arrive here, and from what you could tell, this is- I think I remember this map. And I made it a while ago. From what you could tell, these, this is from at least exploring the sides, this is what you can see. So we see how many guys is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 e
you can s tell that there are 11 guides on guarding entrances of this mine. I'm still a little scared of their banner leader if he fucked up Sigurd. Yeah, he kind of fucked up Sigurd. <laughs> Yeah, we saw Brand and Sigurd with us, and they're at full strength too, right? Yeah. Okay. This shouldn't be too terrible. I mean, after we beat the God again, this can't be too bad. I'm thinking. No. Hopefully. Hopefully not. <laughs> so, are the guys able to see us from where we're standing down here? From where you are standing? No, you guys are, like, hiding behind stuff, so. There's, like, a bunch of, like, fallen trees and crap here. Brandon and Sigurd appear to be hiding behind this, this cliff of some sort. The other guy's up top. One of them has a sword and one of them has a crossbow. They appear to just be chatting. They don't really seem to pay you any mind, even if they saw you. If they saw you, they'd probably pay you mind, but they just don't seem to have noticed you at the moment. I could open up with a, some sleek bow shots, but I have a tendency to miss those. <laughs> so maybe not. <laughs> Oh, we could open up with a spell from Jip Ku. That'd be a good start. If Cam was like, you know, he would actually like fucking present. pay attention. But it, his mom's me. vacuuming, so I get him being muted. With a still, at least like join the roll twenty and pay attention, somewhat. And then Carson's fucking gone. No. Brand turns around. I know that we're not much for stealth. So do we just run in? It seemed to have worked last time. <laughs> I mean, we defeated, uh, I kind of put quotation fingers up, Godkin doing that, so I, I can't imagine this would be too bad. That's of course. They're about mere bandits. What can a bandit do against a child of the gods? <laughs> I say, how about this? Sigurd, you run for in first. You're the tankiest. You gr draw their attention, bring them in. Jip Ku uses spells to attack them once they're clustered, and the rest of us will attack at the edges to uh, gnaw away at their outer front. Hmm. Sound. This seems like a plan, my friend. It doesn't seem like a very good plan, but it seems like a plan indeed. I know it seems to be sacrificing you, but I promise that we'll kill them before they kill you. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. How about... How about this, my friend? As he, he seems like rummage through his pack a bit. How about... Hmm, if I can... Where, where is it here? He starts just pulling her random stuff. No, not this. And he pulls out some shoe. You don't know why he has it. He just does. <laughs> nice. He pulls out what appears to be a spell book. Just throws it back in there. I feel like Jip Koo could really use that. He pulls out, a, a, bunch of he pulls out a piece of paper. It says I-O-U on it. Just the letters I-O-U. <laughs> That's interesting. You don't know why it's in there. He puts it back in there. Hmm. He pulls out an entire wheel of cheese. Why do I have this? Is that a Skyrim reference? It goes back in the bag. <laughs> this is a random wheel of cheese in the inventory. I can't see I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. Oh well. Uh, what exactly were you looking for? Hmm. <laughs> he kind of like plops on the ground, sits cross-legged, and puts his hands up to his chin. Hmm. <laughs> he is clearly in thought. I feel like that should be an easy question to answer. <laughs> hmm. I'm unsure. I know I had it in here somewhere. Perhaps I can look again as he just starts digging stuff out. 
He pulls out a crystal ball. It has a crack right down the middle. <laughs> You're not sure what that is, but he pulls out some shiny glass ball. <laughs> it's broken. He pulls out, he puts that back in, and he pulls out what appears to be like a letter. <laughs> it's been opened. He just throws that back in there. <laughs> I can't seem to find the thing I'm looking for. Oh well. Perhaps another way. How about we go with your plan, little friend? I run in there, <laughs> and then I run at everything, and then I start hitting everything. <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> so wait, Janner, how often can Sigurd do a spinny move thing per long rest? Is it just once? He can do it once, but then he'll fall over because he spawned a lot, and he'll be out for the entire turn. <laughs> Much. Yeah, then he'll then he'll be out for for the rest of the combat, right? But yep. does he get it back after combat ends? Yeah. Oh, okay. But he's like so, out. It, so it I was thinking much, he could just do that. It and pretty then much tank. For, for every foot of for every ten feet of movement speed, he does an attack on everyone around him at five feet. Mm -hmm. So you can attack right. three times anyone within five feet of him, as long as he moves. <laughs> At the I was end, thinking at you could the draw their that, attention, get them clustered, and then use that. At the, at the end of that, at the end of that, he falls over prone and is and must and is then out for the entire turn. And then at the start of his next turn, he must use his movement speed to get back up. <laughs> hmm. So if, he, if he's prone, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> he's like tired. He's like done. People are just going to smack him. Over and over again. Okay, no more vacuum. Now upstairs at computer. <laughs> All right. Join, yes! join, join the roll twenty. We're discussing. Have you been paying attention to our discussion plans? Not really. I couldn't hear over the vacuum. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll summarize what's happened so far. So we're at the bandit camp. We see eleven of them posted outside right now. <laughs> And we have the we have the the advantage of surprise here. Okay? What is the biggest what is the biggest guy there? They're all the same height, roughly speaking. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to test phantasmal laughter or phantasmal killer right away. They're all roughly speaking the same height. Some seem more armored my... some seem more armored than others. That's pretty much it. <laughs> my current plan is to have Siegward run in there, attract all their attention and tank. And then have the rest of us follow after him. And you blow shit up when they're clustered. And then I don't, wanna, I don't have any big explosives besides fireball, and I don't feel like wasting a level third spell on it. Okay, okay, then don't. Um, I think you I can, can start casting other spells. Yeah, am I engaging first? Am I the first one? I mean, you guys haven't rolled initiative yet. But right now, you have surprise. So, but. If as soon as you you can attack in any order, but as soon as you attack, then you have to roll initiative. But you get to go first because you have surprise, and they'll be surprised. So it means you get to go first again. Yeah. All right. So uh, we can open with a spell if that's what you want to do. Um, I just thought we got to open with Sigurd running in. The only problem is you're at the bottom of a hill, <laughs> and you guys kind of like got you guys are kind of hiding behind the, like a tree branch. Is it right. difficult terrain to get up the hill? No, it just right, how lightly, it's just you can't see past the hill. How lightly armored are they? Some are wearing like chainmail. Some are wearing leather armor. All right, I'm gonna target. Only one wearing is like half plate. I'm gonna cast a second level magic missile. At which ones? Because you have to see at... them. Uh, so you were at you were I... at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> Oh, the bottom of it. You're at the okay. bottom right of the map. You are at the bottom of a hill. Never so mind. The, the, only two people, say... the only people you can see are these guys up here. <laughs> I think our, we can take a chance at sneaking up a bit more. Those guys don't seem to know you're there. What's my dex? Let me check here. Is my camera frozen? Yeah, it is. Is it? Oh. Look at my dumb facial expression. <laughs> I can't see it because it's kind of like glitching out. Oh, oh well. Bald me, what? 
Damn, Cam. Is that a mini bowler a real thing? It's from Clash Mini. I just thought it looked really fucking stupid, so I made him a profile pic. Well, I want a pop figure of him if they've got him. He looks like a pop figure. That's what they're supposed to look like, the uh, the minis. They all look like little action figures and I will toys. buy a, a bowler pop figurine if they make them. Alright, back to the game. <laughs> back to the game. Back to the game. Well, um, I, think we, I think, yeah, we just let Seager go in, and then I'll make my decision then. Yeah, I think we. you can start casting spells in that first surprise round. We can open with both. Cast a spell from behind Seagward at probably these guys right here. The guy with the crossbow, so he can't fire on us as we're coming up the hill. Or on these three guys around the fire. Whatever I decide. Yep, it's up to you. But, um. Whatever I see is more cool. Well, which one are you going to do? I'm just going to wait and see what Seagward does. Well, Sigurd, according to our dearest friend Rika, is going to go agree with the plan and immediately run up the hill. <laughs> Got it. Is, is he doing that right now? He's, he's doing that? He's, he's, fair, he's fair to do it right now. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, well, out of the All right, Karsten. So we're at the bandit camp. I see. Um, Sigurd, the current plan is Sigurd's going to run in right ahead of us and basically be the face tank. Um... <laughs> And then we're all gonna chase after him and attack from behind. Sounds like a plan. Person, I aspire for your length of hair. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm kind of going for that too right now. That's where Mine's... I'm where I'm headed. Mine stops too early, and Dude, I it's like. It's a pain in the ass. I bite it. Dude, that's awesome. It's a good little fidget for when you're bored. All right. Dude, honestly, I've had long hair my, like, well, like, hair this length, like, my entire life. Right? And I, I swear to God, when I was a kid, I would do this shit, like, all the fucking time. Like, I would create knots in my hair. My hair's long, too. You can see it. I just, I just, I just, I just got hair cut, too. Like, come on, too. <laughs> my hair Dude, goes I'm too telling fast. you. I'm gonna right. tell you now, it's the new men's style. Long hair. Some chicks are into that. Some. At all. All right, move. All right, let's go. Oh. Sigurd and I will Let's follow. Go. Sigurd is gonna look back at Jurika, and he's 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 gonna be awaiting your approval. Uh, is everyone go, ready? Go. We got Rika the battle master in here. Okay. He's the one. That, he's <laughs> the one. He's the one that said, "Run up the hill, Sigurd, and make a distraction." <laughs> Sigurd's all down for it. Is ev is everyone ready? I look around Wait, at all this my allies. All we're doing is just clearing out this little. Bandit I'm gonna give you a nod. A quick yeah. nod. Yeah. You're clearing out the little bandit camp. <laughs> Alright, see where we go. We're right behind you. There's something big in that cave, though, isn't there? Oh, right. There's probably the leader in the cave. And maybe yeah. some monsters. <clears throat> five, five level dungeon. <clears throat> what? Sorry, what? what? As Sigurd, five as level Sigurd, dungeon. <laughs> as Sigurd looks at you all, he then turns around, pulls out his great sword. Let's do this. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he <laughs> leaps <laughs> over the tree. <laughs> And he just runs, wait, 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 he just wait, wait. books up hill. Before that <laughs> happens, I have no, a No, 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 that bitch doesn't leap over the tree. That bitch runs through it. <laughs> I have a yeah, you're right, you're right, through you're it. right, he does. <laughs> Boom, shit, the tree shatters you're in right, pieces. The tree does. shatters <laughs> in the pieces. It causes a very big destruction. Uh, everyone is alerted. <laughs> it's just like we're all hiding behind the log. Just, well, that worked well. 15, 20, 25. He's here now. <laughs> 10, 30 feet. <laughs> He's, All right. He's so here. we're able to move over. Yeah, he's here when he, he attacks this guy, <laughs> right in front of him. Got it out. Aiden, before you go. What? Let me see how long. Do we have initiative roll. Wait, You're a surprise. surprise. I surprise cast. Round. We have surprise round. Mm -hmm. We're just all gonna attack at once, and then we have initiative. I'm gonna cast haste on Rika. Secret. It's, it's, what does that do? It's some, yeah. It gives it doubles your movement speed. Okay. <laughs> it gives you're gonna be an angry goblin. <laughs> it gives you plus That's sixty two. feet. <laughs> it what? gives you plus two to AC. Dude, okay. Advantage. Hit hold up. Advantage on saving throws, and you gain an additional action on each of your turns. I can yep. attack four times. 
Cast, cast action surge, use blitz, and then just fuck up these three guys over here. <laughs> just right. fucking mad dashes. <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna run up. I'm gonna yeah. run up here. Go attack these guys. You could probably like you could probably take out two with just like one slash. Yeah, maybe I'll points. I'll go I'll I'll go with Sigor and go here actually. Yeah. Yeah, I go to here. You go to there. All right. Well, Sigor rolled really bad, so he still he no, no, he hit him, but he just like he didn't do a lot of damage. Got like no damage. Yeah, he got like no damage. <laughs> That's all right. We got the we we've got the angry goblin. The angry we got goblin. the angry gobbo. You attack this guy in front of okay. you. All right. Aiden, I have a question for you. Hit. That's a yeah. nineteen. Yeah, you crit. That's a crit, boys. Yeah, that's, a crit. Oh! that's a crit. You hit him. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's that's right. another attack. Oh, advantage, advantage, advantage. Roll again. In case you in case you actually get a twenty, it doesn't matter. But you crit anyway. But roll again. <laughs> And someone's about to get cut in half. No. Ooh, no. Good thing no. I got advantage, haha. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Got him. Okay, so I'm gonna roll my I'm gonna roll my crit damage to see if it kills before I attack roll another attack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a... so funny. Wait, how are we doing crits? Double, we doing double damage. Double damage. Double damage. Oh. Alright. And one D ten plus six. What about on like spells? Double for damage. Attack? Double damage. Even for spells. Yep. Okay. Double damage. <laughs> so I deal thirty damage. Thirty damage. You fucking don't kill him. <laughs> oh, I guess oh, I'm rolling a second attack. <laughs> this is this is a big. This is a captain. Bro, you you, you now realize it's, it's you now realize that this is one of the tougher bandits. Bro. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll still Dude, fuck him. I get a five. Never mind. If, never mind. Never mind. That doesn't hit him. That doesn't hit him. <laughs> It's okay, I still have 10 feet of movement, so I'm just gonna move behind. The bandits now appear to be arming themselves. <laughs> you guys, uh... Yeah, <laughs> Wait, they, what they, about they, the surprise round? You guys, no, you guys can move up still. It's up to you. <laughs> nah, move, move up I'm or taking... Don't. I'm fucking getting up there. Yeah, oh. Fucking move your character, you bitch. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta measure first so I know where it's I can close. go. Mm -hmm. What? Ooh. Right there. Joe? Joe mama! Balls. <laughs> Uh. Whoa, it leaves a trail right after. I... Right click, right click. No, uh, that was me doing that, Cam. Oh. No, no, no <laughs> the red square is also me too. <laughs> oh, mine's still light red. I probably should change it so that... Oh, you changed it. I don't change it to play black or something here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you wanna go there? Fine. You'll go like here then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wanna go there? Fine. You'll go here. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll take two guys on at once. That sounded weird. Going to attack <laughs> me guy. too, me too. Baron's gonna attack this guy in front of Sigward. Oh, I'll, hey, I'll you're your mom right now. I'm at my dad's. Okay, I'm gonna go get my bike. I'll be back. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's making a joke about coming here to kick my ass. Here <laughs> grabs his toy bow and fuck, arrow. Dude, I'm rolling like, I'm rolling like ass, man. <laughs> Watch how the bad guys get all net 20s too. I'm rolling like ass for the fucking for the piece for the NPCs. Well, 15, I love how 15 I, I dash hit. 50 feet in one turn, attack the guy, deal 30 damage, then run back 10 feet behind Seagull. <laughs> so what kind of stat block do the captains have? Are they gladiators? Person, what are you doing? Jesus fuck, dude. I'm like fucking ass now. What the hell? Well, this guy's done. This guy's dead. <laughs> what stats does the captains have? They're like stronger bandits. The guy in front of you is arming themselves with fisticuffs. He has spiked. The guy in front of you, Rika, that one you just double smacked, or smacked once at least, is arming himself with what appears to be spiked gauntlets. Oh, scary. He's, he's, he's gonna fucking punch you <laughs> real hard. He's not punching me, he's punching Sigurd. He's gonna punch some dude. <laughs> Alright, Jip Cool, what are you doing? And Alex, what are you Quick doing? Quick question. Too? Could I cast spells through said gauntlets? <laughs> no. I, I mean, 
No. <laughs> Are the fingers mobile? Run. They're they have claws on them. How are you gonna cast spells? Well, oh, so Cam's this. asking if he can we wear them. Cam, can, I can I wear think them. Wear them as actual like, armor. No. Very mobile fingers in order to do the certain parts of the functions of the spells. You have to be able to like move your fingers in very specific ways. We roll and, like, with advantage, right? That. Yes. Can you roll? Oh, that last spellcasters don't even wear gloves. Can you wear it as armor? No, you have to use it as a weapon, which means you cannot cast spells. Aiden, with it. you see this dice right here? The one I got at Gemini over Sentamai. I'll be back. Yeah. I dropped it. I wrote my first attack roll, got a one. Neat. You got a All one, right, you I'm fucking suck. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm cast on a level one magic missile at the guy Aiden attacked. Alright. I'm gonna roll a. Three, three, D4 plus three or something. Three D4 plus three. Yeah, that's the one. I love really high low. I want to cast a ninth level magic missile on a combat encounter sometime. I just watch all the little projectiles just like, Whoa, like a machine gun. But you got eight? You rolled like yeah. ass, dude. This guy's this guy's pretty pretty blooded. He's this guy's, blooded. This guy's blooded. He's taking 38 damage, so I hope he's blooded. 12. He's no. Blooded. 13. No. <laughs> on this guy in front of you? 13. 13 on this guy? The guy with the sword? Let me check. Mm. Fire damage, dude. Don't mind. As I'm running up, I shout my command word. Oh, did you hit him? What'd you roll for him? Yeah. 2 and an 18. Plus 9. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. King shit. King shit. How, many, how much damage did you do? 13. Fire. This guy is not bloodied. This guy in front of you is not bloodied. I just I cramped my again. jaw. 20? 12, 12 plus 8? 12, 21, 12 plus 9. Yeah. 20s. Oh yeah, Aiden? Fuck you. Good thing I didn't do dex, because dex would do jack shit for my armor class. <laughs> it's because it's... It's because of oh, the armor. Okay. You no, know, it's because he's wearing play, doesn't get dex on his. Okay, yeah, I know that. 14 damage. 27 14. fire damage. 27 bro. fire damage. This guy's out. This guy in front of you, he's oh. done. He's done, though. You fucking knock his lights out. <laughs> he's gone. Elbow. I hit him with the douche. Douche, you know, the you know. backhand with the mace. Elbow. You just kind of smack his face and then bash his head in with a, with a morning star. Got it, boss. All right. Wait, roll, bozo. roll initiative. <laughs> R.I.P. Bozo. What's my what? What should my initiative dice be? Who knows? Where's that cool one? I'm gonna make this one my initiative dice. This is no longer gonna be my initiative dice. Fuck, man. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, you didn't get I very good. Four, I got a four minus one. All right. I split failed my initiative. Well, you got That's a one initiative. on your initiative. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Does that mean I just automatically go last? Yes, it means you go last. <laughs> I got 14. The mm. bandits as an entire group will go out all at once. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna yeah. roll separately for nine for nine different bandits. <laughs> That's very valid, so it'll be zero bandits a minute. You're right, it's gonna be. That's why the uh, kick her little asses. That's why the that's why the initiative is plus two. <laughs> for the whole group. So we thought the goblins are gonna die. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Alright. So what'd you get, Arson? One. Three. Six. Oh, you and Brand are tied, Rico. Nice. Nice. You and the paladin go first, alright. <laughs> Wait, 14 was the highest? Yeah. <laughs> I think the ban is rolled right after you. Like, the entire group ban is rolled right after you, I'm pretty sure. It's like, oh, what? what? Nine. <laughs> What'd you get, Carson? Three? Three. Okay. Yeah, so it's Bandit, Secret, Carson, then Jeff <laughs> Corbin. I'm first. You're first. I need to use the washroom real quick. I need to use the washroom real quick, so let me do that. Pair phone! This guy's got a pair phone! They didn't make the pair phone the real thing. Dude! Pair phone. 
unpopular opinion, Kendrick's new album was ass. Okay. So it's my turn. I'm going to move. I can actually attack this guy from right here. So I'm just going to attack him twice from where I'm standing. He's gone. The, the guard captain. Oh, Jenner's gone. Yeah. My bad. Just roll your dice. And then, like, if he comes back and you have shit rolls, you can just say those weren't your rolls. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got one and a four. Sorry. I'm yeah. moving. I'm moving thirty feet. Who are you? I rolled my. I rolled my attack rolls and I rolled a one and a four. Yeah, so I, I saw that. But like, who you were talking to in front of you again? All right. <laughs> We'll I'm moving down up. the mountain. 13 does not hit, no. <laughs> and then a 1 obviously doesn't hit either. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know 14 didn't hit, so I'm guessing 13 doesn't hit. Let's get so the... I'm moving down the mountain 20 feet. Let's get the bad rolls out of there right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm down here now. Alright. No. I'm gonna stand in front of Jipku just in case, actually. I'm not gonna move All that right. far. Brand is going to. So you guys get to go at the same time. <laughs> he is going to. Walk up to this man, right in front of him, and go whoop how. And he's gonna use. He's gonna use. something. <laughs> he's gonna use Divine Smite on his attack. First level. Which he gets. Yeah. Just gonna get extra. I was gonna say, I thought that was an enemy using Divine Smite. I was about to get a little worried. This man is gonna run up to him. Because he sees Rika getting kind of a. a kind of getting. he's missing. It's not, not doing so hot. Rika is just swiping a lot and whiffing the air. He's gonna attack twice and he's gonna use. Rika's not used fight. to his like inane speed he has right now. No. <laughs> a little overwhelmed. Brand gets. He gets a lot. He gets a lot. He gets, he gets a yes and a yes. <laughs> on both attacks. Holy shit. A yes and a yes on both attacks. I could have I could have rolled those same numbers, but I just didn't. You just so. didn't. Yeah, you're right. You just didn't. Mm -hmm. He's also going to use Divine Smite, a first level. I mean, she uses a first level spell slot for that. And he does an extra 2d8. Yeah, 2d8 radiant damage. Okay. So. Wait, it means he just gets 2d8 radiant damage plus d8. <laughs> plus <laughs> He's about to do dummy thick damage on this guy. Yeah, he kills him. <laughs> He fucking kills him. <laughs> this captain, he's out. He's done, so. Good fucking. That's his, that's his turn. Because he doesn't even need to attack again. <laughs> Brand just stands in front of, in front of everyone here. Alright, it's the bandit's turn. <laughs> they saw their captain fall, but they ain't scared. This guy's gonna... Back up from you, Alex. You have 10 reach, so you can't actually hit this guy. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, you can't, because you have 10 reach. 19. You hit him. Nine. You hit him, yeah. He's gonna move here. Move here. Um. Are they all gonna just, like, beat this shit out of Bran? Well, they kinda, he kind of killed one of their captains, so, yes. <laughs> 14 fire damage. 14 fire damage. No, 30 damage. The guy's, this guy's pretty wounded, but he's gonna back up anyway. And he's gonna, while backing up, he's gonna shoot a crossbow bolt at you. He's gonna be the only one attacking you this round, so I'll just do it now. That's rude. <laughs> Motherfucker. Do you think you could send a, do you think, do you have, do you have a good damage cantrip? Cam? I have like three. I was gonna say, do you think you could try to kill him with a cantrip? The six does not hit you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm tempted to go into melee range and use green flame blade. That sounds like a really dumb idea. Got it for a reason, didn't I? These two, both, one of them is a battle axe and one of them is a great axe. What I just realized we didn't oh, use no. um, during our combat encounter with the boss fight, the boss was moving really fast back and forth across the stage and none of us use opportunity attacks. This guy is actually gonna. <laughs> this guy's gonna put down here. 
acne scars are very visible this light. This guy's gonna run down here. Just makes you beautiful, kid. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't have you any other way. Look at that. Look at... You got two little racing stripes. Who fucking cares? Do I do. Care? You I shouldn't. Do here. You I should. Do. I don't you should not. Red marks on my you should not care. Okay? Do not do I have to say this in a language you will understand? Okay? Beep! Give me screw you. Please. <laughs> Give me screw <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whose turn is it now? Is it still the bad's turn? Yeah, I'm deciding where the fuck they're gonna go. <laughs> This guy's, gonna, this guy's gonna move like over here and take a shot. This guy's gonna just move over here somewhere. And those two ran up there. Mm -hmm. That guy took a shot, so that guy's not attacking. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. Two on Brand, one on Sigurd. Or one, two, three. One, two, three, <laughs> four attacks. Two on Brand, two on Sigurd, yeah. Two on Brand and two on Sigurd. So. Bone arrow gets hurt. That guy almost fucking crit brand. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Mm, so. Brand's AC is 20, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be it should be 20, so it still hits him anyway, but. What's uh Carson's AC now that with misses. the plate armor? That misses. It should be 20 plus shield. Yeah, plus right? four he, Fuck's sake. he got plate armor from one of the goblins we killed. That's I saw yeah, one of the big guys. It's, it's 23 right now. Because of my Warforged. Because Warforged get plus one. Huh? This guy's gonna attack Seaward once. Three on Brand, one on Seaward, so. This guy's using a great axe, so he gets. I think Warforged would make a cool <laughs> So only yes. one. Out of those four attacks, only one hit. <laughs> and it was, it was the bow and arrow guy. <laughs> Imagine! Duh! Buffoonza. Should I just bolt Brand for the bow and arrow guy? Four damage. <laughs> you see an arrow? To, like, you cam. see? Let's see if we can let Cam deal with him. You see? That's fair. You see, I thought it'd be funny. You see Brand getting overwhelmed, and he just dodges attacks with right and arrow, just hits his shoulder. He just looks at it, looks at the guy with bow and arrow, it just rips out and throws it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, really badass NPCs. They're scary. I'm glad they're on our side. <laughs> that was his turn. That was the bandit's turn, actually. They might not be. All right, Sigurd's turn. I think Bran has our best interests at heart. Rika, you notice that Sigurd looks back at you? Maybe not the king, but at least Bran does. Rika, Sigurd, he turns around, looks at you, gives you a thumbs up, and brings the sword to his side as, like, as he's about to spin. <laughs> oh my god, I knew it. I saw it coming. He's gonna move here. <laughs> here. <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. He's gonna move through the guy, because he can. <laughs> one, two, he can move through enemies with spinning? Yeah. He just does, damage. He just does damage. What a king. So this guy, so this guy. What a chat. Well, I want to read Sigurd's stat block someday. Dude, he's, <laughs> he's actually not as powerful as he thought it would be. I don't want to stay. <laughs> he's like a fighter, but your weapon's, your weapon's actually more powerful than his. It's just like a 1d12. That's it. Oh yeah, well mine's... Yours, oh, yours is also what, a 1d10. But, but once I attune to it, it gets like an additional 2d8, right? Yeah. Yeah, 2d8. Oh, Jip Fu. In your mind, when you were sleeping, you... Notice that you can now use the wand as you can now use that magical wand as you know an actual item. That it won't hurt you. Fly around and hit people, right? I just realized that max damage that weapon deals 32 damage. The Eye of the Thunder Gods with max damage He's able without to a crit, float, right? Hmm. Can't I make her like run, like fly around and hit people? Because like she can float. Yeah. It's a wand. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, but she's alive. You can definitely ask her. 
don't have to on your back turn. Back on your No, you can use it's a free action. I pull Abigail out. On your turn. <laughs> it is not oh. your turn. <laughs> oh, okay. He's gonna attack this guy twice. Attack this guy once. Attack this guy once. <laughs> attack to two, four, five attacks. Yep. One. That's a crit. <laughs> That's all of them hit. Every single one of them hit. <laughs> After Secret does a spin, he falls on the ground. The weapon just clatters on the floor. <laughs> which means he is now prone, which means I will give him this. What is what is prone here? Give him like snail, I guess. <laughs> Secret is now prone, so he's snailed. Snail. And he does. He does. <laughs> and then. Once more for the crit. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's the crit damage. <laughs> so every 20, so every 17 plus 13 plus 9 plus 15, they're dead. All of them are dead. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. I'm not counting at all, they're dead. <laughs> Sigurd, you came. What was it? 17 plus 13 plus 9 plus 15 plus 18. <laughs> It's like the attack the barbarian has in Diablo 3 where they just spin. That's basically what his first reference off of, but you you get you fall prone immediately afterwards and can't get up for the rest of the turn. Right. You can't get up to the end of your next turn. <laughs> Alright, well Sigurd's out. <laughs> but he got three of them. Alright, Alex, it's your turn. You saw Sigurd do a fucking spin attack and three of them chop got chopped up to pieces. <laughs> the guy in front of you appears to have gone down the hill towards the entrance to the mine. You should you should be able to reach him, yeah. Just barely, but you can. I don't think you can. You have oh yeah, ten foot reach. Yeah, ten yeah, ten right. foot reach. Alright. No advantage. No advantage, because no more surprise. Four so. plus nine, thirteen. This guy, yeah, because he's running a lot of armor. Oh shit. Yeah. Bow and arrow guy. Not not super oh, cross damage. crossbow guy. Fourteen damage. As he's as he thinks he's safe, he's like reloading his crossbow, you just run down the hill, and just with all of your might, you just swing to the side and just collapses onto the floor. <laughs> I, I literally fucking max ranged that son of a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I literally fucking... <sighs> just fucking... No, he, he, uh. he looks up only to have a morning star hit him in the side of the face and he falls right on the ground. <laughs> He's out. Yeah, are you doing? Are you? Hit the ground hard. <laughs> he hit the ground hard. You hear, you hear a bone crunch when he hits the ground. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm not doing that margarita. Hey everybody, I'm not doing that margarita. Hey everybody, I'm not doing that margarita. Hey, unless, unless you have a bonus action, you have used all your movement speed and you don't have, you're not in enough range to actually hit anyone, so you can't do shit as your second action, second attack. You can use your bonus action. I don't have any range. You have, you have no, have you have no movement speed. You have no, you don't have enough range to attack anyone. I have a spear. You gonna throw a spear? How long? How long does that reach? I can throw it. 30 feet? <laughs> 20 to 60. Isn't it past 20? It's disadvantage, right? It's too far away. Yeah. Yeah. So past 20 means it's disadvantage. And 60 is max. Yeah. Yeah. Which he's 30, so. Roughly yeah, speaking. Yeah, I'm not going to throw my spear. Yeah, like, <laughs> roughly speaking, 30 ish. <laughs> so. It says plus 7, but I don't believe that. <laughs> plus 7 with disadvantage? Maybe. Plus seven to hit. Plus seven to hit with this man. You could try. You try. There's no harm in trying. It's not like you're gonna use a frame. Thirteen. This guy, no. Sorry, he has he has chainmail on. I got him. <laughs> he just dodges your spear. Your spear okay, is your spear is now make... your spear is now over there on the ground. So. <laughs> I'll just pick it up after yeah. combat. I can totally make that. <laughs> of course you can make it in 60 feet. <laughs> I just- I still want to run after a guy with a bow and arrow and scare the shit out of him. He's gonna be scared. You just appear in front of him. Honestly, just- I feel like the bow and arrow guys are the most dangerous. The range- the range- the glass cannons are always <gasps> terrifying to me. Well, you guys beat the captain pretty easily. So I will like, fucking- we I will like, I will like, an fucking, NPC yeah, an NPC <laughs> will like, fucking butter and <laughs> actually wrecked his health so fast. Alright, it's Jipku's turn if I remember right. Yeah, Jipku, it's your turn. You wanted to ask Abigail something? Yeah, can you fly? 
Huh? What do you want? What, you say can something? you fly? Can I fly? Of course I can fly. I'll have to go to Slaz at the end. Of course I can fly. Only a little bit, but I can fly. Can you just go run into people that aren't our allies? Why would I do that? Because I don't want to use your spells. You just get no response. <laughs> just sits, just sure. kind of trying to just sits there, floating in. All right, in I'm just gonna air. let her float. You can just float there. I'm just gonna leave her there. Hmm. I don't think I will. She just floats somewhere else. She's just gone now. <laughs> All right. Who's weekend? Who's looking weekend? Who's looking weekend? Bye. Everyone that looks weekend is dead. <laughs> Yeah, the Where rest of the guys are full HP, I believe. These, I these guys over here, three bunch, and there's this guy up here that you Hold can't on. reach. So. Who's the biggest guy? Are they all the same yet? There's a guy with a sword, a guy with a sword and shield. This guy, biggest. He looks more deadly than the others. Matt, right here. What about these guys? CEO of here? suicide after inventing transgender. Who's this guy? Who's this? That's yeah, Carson. Oh, <laughs> uh, Carson? Okay. Bro, wait, are you trying to. Bruh. He's, he's like, <laughs> no, it's because you guys don't see the nameplates, so that's why. So yeah. this, no, this guy is a little bigger looking. This guy right here. This he guy, this like guy big, is wearing. This guy's wearing. This guy's wearing more armor. Let's go Bro, with just that. hit him with a magic missile. I wanted to. I want to use a level four. A level four, right? No, bro, we're about to go into a dungeon. Yeah, like, we're about to go into a dungeon. Bro, you like, bro, just bro, got you. You've got to, you've got, you need to have better resource economy, bro. <laughs> just like literally, I just got here. Such a fun spell. I want to use it. Then use well, it, use it for the boss. I was say, wait, wait. But he, the boss has a better chance to save. You're right. This guy is. This guy looks like a captain, more or less. So he, he's a bit stronger than the others. And he does yeah, have a, he does have a want, sword and shield. It's a dumb idea. It's up to you. You most likely will not get I'm just saying. But it, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just. I'm later. just saying. You most likely will not get a long rest in this, in this place. So. Mm -hmm. so Alright. Level <laughs> 1 magic missile towards big guy. Oh, there's this guy. Alright. Roll 3d4 plus 3. Mm -hmm. Watch this roll! Yo. Hey, 10, 10 force damage. He's looking kinda hurt, but not not too bad. That's pretty good. 4, 2, and 1. I mean, I guess the 1 sucks, but it's not bad. He's looking kinda hurt. He, this guy appears to have chainmail and a shield, so he'll have a bit higher AC than the rest. As you know, he'll have a bit higher... He'll be harder to hit because of his shield. I think that is your turn. It is now Bran's turn. Yep, yep. yep. Hmm. Wait, I thought it was my turn. I go before Bran. You're right. Well, you go at the same time, technically, because you roll. Technically, the same. you both but... roll the same. But yeah, go first. Okay, mm -hmm. should I, guys, should I just rush the archer? Do it. We have front line right now. You don't have to worry about it. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, he's he's gonna go here anyway. So. We okay. we have Siegward and we have Brand. Right here. The archer's like Sigurd. worrying about Siegward and Brand ready yeah. ready. The, 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 the archer's shot like the archer's like re like like running a shot to fire next, and you just zoom in front of him. <laughs> and then that's something just dart from behind a tent and just zoom at him. That's at like neck breaking speeds. And I'm like, <laughs> you, dude, just actually, fucking stop right tackle here. him. As as, as as you zoom as you zoom next to the tent, you see him readying his bow. He's he's about to like take another shot at Brand. You just zoom next to him, and he's 21. like, he, he looks, he notices your presence a little bit. What's wrong? You, you just, you just attack him. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. You just bring your halberd down. Damage. Thirteen does not kill him, but he, he is pretty, he's pretty bloodied. Is Fourteen, 14 yeah, because this guy's leather armor, just barely, but it does hit him. Okay, so he's got fourteen. You're probably gonna kill him anyway. <laughs> yeah, you killed him. Another fourteen damage. You killed him. You killed him. <laughs> We killed him. He's gone. <laughs> okay, I, I I moved. Let's you moved see. 45. I moved from here. You moved 45. Move 40 feet. 40 or 45. I, I, one of the I, two. I, 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 went, I was going to move here, but I changed my mind and moved here instead. I think you have 20 left. Yeah. And you still have one extra attack. So. Sigurd's Sieg like prone on the ground. So he's kind of. He's I'm going to kind of guard Sigurd. Alright, that's your turn. That's my turn. I, I think that was a pretty good turn, boys. Let's that was be a pretty honest. good turn. Boom, boom. 
Bran just like stomps over one of the corpses, just walks over one of the corpses and just pulls out his great sword and just swings at this this guy right here with with a sword. Hmm. You're gonna attack him. Yeah, that's a. That's a one. That's a that's a one, and that that doesn't that hits. That first one does not. We don't talk about that one. That one doesn't exist. So <laughs> Bran Bran only rolled once for the attack because he's a pussy. <laughs> At least you're not one of those DMs who's like, when you roll that one an attack roll, you have to roll your damage back on yourself. I was thinking about it, but I was like, it's stupid, why would I do that? <laughs> it's a really dumb roll, I don't like it at all. I was thinking about fumbling, but I was like, eh, sounds dumb. <laughs> like, oh, you hit your toe, you took one damage, like, alright, well. <laughs> you rolled 100, your weapon fell on the floor. It's like, oh, now you gotta pick it back up. <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, Brand gets, cause he's fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he, yeah. Brand is like hella OP. Sure as I know. Brand is a really, really strong guy. I realized that last. Yeah, session. I just fucking rolled crits twice. <laughs> she rolled perfect rolls twice. Do him upside down. This guy. Almost, he died on the first hit. <laughs> this guy is so close to death. This man right here. Cam's upside down. Nice. Oh. This guy, is. Really, really oh. close to death. That's <laughs> Garrity. The red circle. <laughs> Which one? This guy with the red circle. The guy with the red circle. Oh, this guy up here. This guy's a foil. Because <laughs> you didn't hit him with your javelin, and it's kind of on the ground next to him. So. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, right now it is the bandit's turn. The bandit's oh, it's, turn. Yeah, the bandit's turn. Wop wop. They're gonna attack him twice. This guy, I'm gonna roll separately for them because they have different hit two hits. Four. That does not hit. This guy is six with his sword, and that does hit. Okay. Brand takes eight points of slashing damage. Ouch. This guy. Yeah, he's gonna run to the cave. <laughs> This guy runs into the cave. Rika, you, or Alex, you see the guy as your javelin misses. He looks at it, he looks at you, and he pulls into the cave. <laughs> oh, Pussy. Get He's gonna notify the guard. The, the, I'm, the I kinda captain. wanna run after him. What a bitch. I honestly wouldn't be far behind him. It is. Sigurd's Sieg out for now, so Alex is your turn. Mm -hmm. What happened with Sigurd? He's He did a spin his Sigurd did a spin move. He did a spin move. <laughs> Just died. <laughs> when he does, no, his, when he, he does his spin he move, goes... he falls prone for the till the end of his next turn. Oh. Yeah. But it's like really powerful. That's why. Yeah. Sigurd shakes his head, gets back up, notices your next turn record, R Rika, and he gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm back. Where'd you come from? <laughs> He's like, oh. oh, I just bolted down here. You, you can see he's still a bit discombobulated from the amount of spinning he did. <laughs> but he should be fine. Wait a second. I get another action every, every turn, don't I? And you also have haste still. Oh, yeah. So I, I have not been using my extra attack actions. Oh, look at that. <laughs> my bad. What'd you look Whatever. at that? I uh, use him for the rest of the combat encounter. Oh, it's, it's your turn. <laughs> what are you gonna do? How many turns have we been in combat for? Like, like five. <laughs> Alright, so you... Like, so it's, like it's like four, four, four or five. Yeah, like half a minute, but, pretty much. Boys, I kind of want to charge after this guy. So haste can, is half can you up. Even get I feel like you're gonna be going face to face with a shit ton of guys. I wouldn't do it. I mean, yeah, you can get to him, but... I mean, you can go ahead. I was like, I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just, you know, you just, you just might get a, might, might get attacked by some people. <laughs> That's DM guidance right there, Carson. <laughs> just listen to him and tell, and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get fucked yeah, by Yeah, I know, but this could be for a roleplay moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Would your character logically be smart enough to realize that there probably is many more in there? Me? Well, he does have an intelligence of nine. So That's barely below average. That's so... still a, average enough to be like... He's, he's a wisdom of 12, though, which would be, well, yeah. Well, he's not book smart, but he's, like... Street smart. Yeah. Remember me and Noah had a conversation about this once on our... <laughs> when he was making me home. <laughs> Taking me home. Well, Alex, you do hear shuffling inside the cave, so something is coming. Mark this guy off for now because you can't actually see him. But... <sighs> oh. Trying to look at the M's. Oh. oh, sure. Alright. You, yeah? Sure. As you run into the cave, <laughs> you run, <laughs> you run, face first into five people. <laughs> <laughs> you really run into one of them. <laughs> He's like, oh, you, you, you kind of stumbles back. What? Get him! <laughs> by the way, by the way, fellas, you, you would probably notice pretty quick. My demeanor is different. Mm -hmm. Like my, my demeanor is different right now. None of us can see you. Yeah, well, see yeah, you. but like, <laughs> like out of the story, I ran away to sleep too. Story stuff. Backstory. That guy with the sword is also there too. Okay, can I attack this guy in front of me? Sure. How far did you run, by the way? Were you here? <laughs> I think right here. You're right. Yeah, some something like that. You run about ten feet. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. You run about ten feet. Let's get ten feet that you ran, cause I don't remember. So. <laughs> 14 plus 9, 23. This guy in front of you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that one does not hit. No. Roll that sweet damage. 6, 12. 12 fire. He seems pretty hurt. Do I roll a divine smite, boys? Well, you gotta do that when you, before you attack. But, like, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> He says, when I hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, I can expend yeah, one spell slot. Oh, yeah, you so you're right. And I'm even using it, and I don't remember. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna use it. You were right, I was even using the damn thing, and I didn't remember what I did. <laughs> Alright, well, Alex, you ran 10 turn. feet. You're not gonna run away? <laughs> no. Alright, Jip Cool, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, how could it be? Cause lore. Abigail just kind of flies in front of you. By the way, Alex Floor. By the way, stupid master, stupid idiot master, person. There, your friend, your metal man down there is in trouble. <laughs> Wait, who is talking right now? That's the wand. Jepku's wand. The wand. Jepku's talking wand. I have an anthropomorphic wand. You don't remember this detail? Since when? <laughs> since, since like a while ago. <laughs> since like the first dungeon we did. What Can I even make it there? Am I able to? S Wait, is okay. He, so he's like just outside of the cave. Yeah. You could realistically throw a fireball and get pretty good value. You could. You I could. Can't help you, you can't. You can't get there. No, actually, from here maybe. From here you can see a little bit, but it'd be a bit hard to actually hit. All right. You can probably see this guy on the right, at least. Yeah, you can see a couple of them, but not a lot. We're here, right? Correct? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we're there. Uh, Ab just Abigail. Use the... Abigail's floating next to you. <laughs> Who's the biggest see. looking guy Who's there? there? Who's the biggest looking guy? Your friends, Alex. <laughs> Everyone else is kind of average. Yeah, I'm like seven foot. <laughs> yeah. Who's the biggest man? The robot. <laughs> Fireball, baby! Fireball. <laughs> You didn't ask Abigail. Yeah, baby! All right. Fireball, you're gonna use sculpt spells, not him, I assume. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. All right, D20 roll. I'm gonna roll for a whole group. What was it? D20 for what? Dex, dex save. Oh. 
he doesn't need the deck save. Not him, the everyone no, else. Yeah, the <laughs> literally, literally everyone else. I was like confused. So an eight does not be your thing. So yeah, they all fail. <laughs> oh my god! Because I ain't rolling for five of them. Group combat. Okay, okay. Group combat. Let's go. You're gonna burn all of them to crisp if you roll it. If you roll good. <laughs> yeah, they're all fucking dead. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Alex, as you run, as you run into one of them, you get startled a bit, and you swing your weapon, and then you hear something behind you. You turn around, you see a giant ball of fire immediately fly towards you, and it hits the ground next to you. You don't feel anything. As you turn around, you look at the ground, and there's a lot of charred bodies. They're gone. And if he looks back, I was gonna say I'll kind of like do a little salute to um. <laughs> I need to do chip crew. Can I move more into the cave? If you want your stone combat technique, it's not your turn. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I still have 20 feet of movement. I guess. Not your turn. Not your turn. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't think y'all seem dissatisfied with your use of fireball. <laughs> He's not here right now, I don't think. Alright, <laughs> Whose turn is it? Brand, he's gonna fucking smack smack. He's gonna hit the same guy as he's gonna, he's gonna hit the same guy that he just hit. He's gonna fucking miss the first guy and hit the second guy. Well, he misses this guy and hits this guy. <laughs> nice, nice. Good shit, Bran. It's okay, I'll clean up for him afterwards. I have two attack actions, which means I have four attacks every turn. <laughs> Haste. I rolled 10 twice on the radiant damage. Bram is such a badass. I'm afraid of him. He would totally kick my ass in a fight. This guy's looking pretty hurt. He's bloodied. He's All probably right. like level 12. Alright, Rick, it's your turn. Alright, you know what I'm doing? Bam, I'm going like, bam, bam. I'm going like up here. <laughs> and <I'm> just... <laughs> You're gonna get a flanking bonus if you go there. Oh yeah. Bop bop, flanking bonus. You get advantage! <laughs> yeah, yeah, One of them yeah. is a crit! Yeah, he's dead. He's He has like 1 HP, he's dead. He is actually dead, he has 1 HP. You want me to just not roll damage then? He's dead. I mean, you know, so roll, like, I'm gonna one... roll damage just to see Doesn't how much matter. I deal, okay? 14, 28. Yeah, 28 damage. You did not overkill him. You didn't double his health, unfortunately. But as as Bren misses the attack and just like Pleh, just <laughs> just hits the other guy, the bandit kind of staggers back a bit. Then he hears a whoosh. He turns to his right. You're not there. He turns and he hears something behind him. He, he turns around. And you're like jumping in the air, just bringing the halberd down. <laughs> He's like, ah! All right. <laughs> you just bring the halberd down. He just crashes onto the floor. I immediately just I don't even move. I just start attacking this guy with my own three attacks. <laughs> Alright, roll, roll a hit. Can you imagine a mystic with haste spell? Oh, Abigail is not very happy with using fireball. <laughs> I'm not gonna use your damn spells, Abigail. <laughs> For 8th level spells, why would I use that? Okay, I got 19, 20, and 21. They all hit. <laughs> this bitch wants me to use an 8th level fireball. No, it's overkill. <laughs> oh, is there still... There's Wait, this, you rolled a 9 Oh, there's, okay. They rolled 19, 20, and 21. They all hit, thought, so just roll I, I damage three times. Two, I thought he rolled three crits. They I'm all like, hit. What the fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy that's, shit, man, he's dead. 33 damage. 33 damage. Calm down! It's like that anime moment where we cut him in like fucking eight pieces. <laughs> Alright, so I move 35 yeah, feet. Yeah, 35 feet, and then you hit this guy once, and he's fucking toast. <laughs> he's dead? <laughs> he's toast. <laughs> he's out of here. Is he. Oh, he's actually dead. He's like, this guy in front of you is dead. The guy, oh, this I mean, guy. Oh, I mean the other guy. The next guy, as Brant hits him, you see like a, he has like a searing scar on his chest. Like ripped right through the armor. He staggers back a bit. He looks to his right and always sees you just bringing, like, he's like, you see him like do like a spin move in the air just attack three times. And you just, he just hits him. You hit him three times, he just falls over. You just land on him and he falls over on the ground. Is he dead? He's dead? He's done. He's done. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> 
Okay. I was gonna move back if he was alive still. He's done. Everyone else is out. There's no more, no more people here. <laughs> so Good Abigail, job, gang. Abigail's mad at me for not using her. Yeah. You bitch! I'm not using an 8 level fireball to kill some fucking noobs. <laughs> some what? <laughs> you have an 8th level fireball? It's his yeah. wand. It's the wand. and got some 8th level uses, spells. She, has eight, she randomly uses an 8th level spell of like 6 different choices. Oh, now that you have 18 wisdom, you can choose which spell you want her to use. That's it. <laughs> and, and where you want it. This is so broken. Why does Cam's all these really, really powerful magic items? You can choose when you can choose where you want to use it and what spell you want to use. That's it. I think that's, I, I think but it that's, goes but that's away all, permanently. But that's all you can do. <laughs> Look at Carson's what? face. <laughs> this Carson, his face is like. I think once you use it, it's gone. Well, you know, you never know because you haven't used it. So, no. only one way to find out. Would you no? Know? Can I ask it? Sure, if you want. I'm like, hey, Abigail, I'm about to use one of your spells. Do I get to use it ever again? <laughs> just looks away. This, the wand just looks away. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes, so don't tell me to use your damn spells on five little fucking trash <laughs> shrimps. It's, it's, you're just going to wear spells that just flies back in your, in your backpack. <laughs> All right, the band of camp. The band of camp is cleared. Now what? <laughs> I am going to proceed into the cave. Stop that shit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna go with them. As you all, and I go into the cave here. Yeah, I'll also join them. You all go into the cave here. Let me just get the uh, let me cop copy paste everyone here so I can fucking get everyone here. Mm. Um. I switch the map to here. There it is. Oh shit. You guys come across a mine. There, doesn't, nice. there appears to be some miners. I haven't put them in because I'm lazy, but they don't appear to be armed and they appear to be. Hello. They appear to be refugees. Hello. They appear to be uh, civilians from Haven. <laughs> miners? <laughs> They've enslaved civilians. Do, uh, wait, how do they respond to us coming in? Some of them are happy and some of them run past you to escape. Some of them are kind of like chained up to the ground; they can't go anywhere. And right, some, well, some I'll just start like, actually, actually no. I'm gonna keep moving through the cave. Be careful! They may have explosives mm -hmm. in their wrists. Mm -hmm. All right. Or their necks. You see, Alex completely ignore everyone. Just run, just run, just like booked it down the cave. <laughs> well, I'm not that booking it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, well, I'm like, like a steady walk. It's casual. That is very pallid of you, Carson. Actually. I'll, I'll, like, break their chains as I walk past them, I guess. Fuck it. See, we're gonna branch follow you guys. This cream soda's ass. Oh, what is this? I just see to walk down, like, a side tunnel. <laughs> cream flavor is so bland. What is this? <laughs> I'm gonna just, like, stand here. Fog of war. You know you don't have Fog of War on, right? I know. I just haven't revealed any of the enemies yet. Not playing League of Legends, bro. Plus, like, the entire... I feel like I remember you making this map, too. Yeah, I do, too. I did. I made it, like, months ago. <laughs> I know what's in this map now. I remember what's in this map, and I no longer want to be in this cave. Oh, yeah? I do. Well, nope. you, as you walk in, Alex, you see Secord kind of just, like... He's, 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 oh. not, like, he's not, like, looking at, like, the pile of trash over here in the corner. <laughs> you see him, like, digging through it, trying to find stuff. <laughs> I'm standing back here where I can just see everyone. Isn't like, there like here. gems in the wall? Yeah, there's. You didn't care about any of those. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna continue walking down the main oh, path. I'll, I'll just. I'll leave them be. As you walk down, as you 
walk down the main path. You can continue walking, there's room to your left, you can just completely ignore that. Mm. Well, I can kind of see what's in it, right? You see it and there's another like pile of stuff, there's some gems on the walls. Okay. You, free, you free the miners as you walk through. Mm -hmm. And as you turn that corner, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> what, this corner? Oh, yeah. This corner. I need you to make a dexterity oh. saving throw. Fuck. Eight. <laughs> Dex save. An eight, huh? Mm -hmm. You take an arrow. To, you take an arrow to the chest. <laughs> oh shit! It doesn't even. It just completely ignores armor class. It's a trap. So was, I'm was, guessing it it's a just. Trap, yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, traps don't work like attacks. Ah. Uh. You take. You take one point of piercing damage. <laughs> Ow. Arrow, Can I just, your, like, your armor is just too thick. It just doesn't. It, it, it just kind of. So it leaves like a little. It, just, it leaves like a tiny den and kind of stuck in the tiny den of your chest. So it's, it's not even embedded. No. Just, just pull you, it out. Throw it on the ground. Flip. Throw it on the ground. Pull it out. Throw it on the ground. As I'm you walk, keep moving. As you walk in the room. Before you walk in the room. Bam. <laughs> oh goddamn! I was on top of someone. Bandits pop out. Roll initiative. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Sigurd's back here. He's not helping you guys. God damn it! <laughs> I'm never gonna go first in this fucking campaign. Never <laughs> once. I got a four. All right. Mm -hmm. The bandit's got a six. So, as long as everyone here can beat a six. <laughs> I got I'm eleven. Go, I'm never going first in this fucking campaign. Who else is with us? Is Brandon and Jipku with us? Brandon and Jipku. Yep. Cam walked away with food, so I don't think he's coming back for a sec. Nine. <laughs> I'll just roll for him, because he's a punk bitch. I think he has a two. Mm. Let me check. I don't remember. He has a one. <laughs> Seaward's busy looting. <laughs> he's going <the> first. <laughs> Great. Mm. He's getting food. Okay, I'll just skip his turn then, because he's not here. Because I don't, don't want to wait for him. So I'm gonna skip his turn, which would mean Rika, you're next. All right. <laughs> One sec. Anyways. So they're behind a wall? They appear to be behind some some tombs. And a couple of them have some... There's two... You see... Cam, from, what? From... Are you back? <laughs> no. No, I gotta pass. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's your, it's your turn. Am I able to get around um, Alex here? Uh, yeah. You can like you can like squeeze, squeeze by a bit. Do I still have haste or is it worn off? No, it's worn off by now. It's been a minute. You see what please look out with the great axe here. From your point of from what you can see right there, you see two crossbow guys, a bone and arrow, and a lot of guys with great axes and with axes and swords. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand right here. So I'm gonna stand right there. Alright. Um and then Alex will still be able to fit through like right here, yeah. right? Okay, so not black. To be fair, he's just so taller than terms you can just jump over them. But yeah. <laughs> I can oh, yeah. low key probably just vault. You can just vault over the tombs because you're taller. Just you're taller kind of than like them. difficult terrain or something. The, the tombs, they're like makeshift barricades. But they were here. Yeah. But... I'm gonna attack the guy in front of me. Attack the guy in front of you, alright. Yeah, that hits. Get an 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. This man, he's wearing what appears to be like chainmail, so it won't be too toward him. He is holding what appears oh, to be a great axe, though. Roll low damage and deal eight damage. So I'm gonna roll the hit again. I roll the hit again. Hey. That's a crit, boys. Hey. That's a crit. The double fruit. It's, it's your turn ball. next. It's your turn next, Cameron. Jipku. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's your turn next. 
It's a one on damage though, so I deal 14, 14 damage. 14 plus 8, 22. He's oh, looking he's looking bad. he's looking pretty beat. He's not bloodied though. He's no he's bloodied, sorry. Okay. He's bloodied. Alright, big guy, big guy fight, big guy fight. No, not big guy fight. It's not big Damn guy it. fight. Damn it. <laughs> it is not big guy fight. Fuck. Where's your character anyway? <laughs> Oh, you're up there. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't moved. Mm, you're like, you're like there. there. You're like there now. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So I'm, I'm attacking. So where did we come from? You came from the top right of the room you're in, and there is seven guys in the room. Yeah, seven. Three of them are ranged. Four of them are melee. So Sigurd's just in another room. Sigurd's just not with you guys right now. He's looting. He's doing stuff. Okay, um... Uh... Uh, 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 uh I'm gonna save the rest of my spells. I'm just gonna start using cantrips. Alrighty. And who are you gonna hit? I'm not gonna hit anybody. Huh? <laughs> what, what are you doing, Cam? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Cantrip, what are you doing? I'm gonna use Cantrip Minor Illusion. I'm gonna go behind. Space. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a little illusion behind this guy here. Which one, sorry? This guy right here. This guy, right, okay. The guy with the bone arrow. First, let me check the range. Make sure I can actually get there. Mm. Thirty feet. I don't know. About that. Forty. Nope. <laughs> Is this a guy? You can hit. All right, you can I'm hit gonna, these two with minor illusion. I'm gonna I'm put a, a, a little. I'm gonna put like a don't turn around right behind you, right right behind him. If that works, I got. I don't know. I'm gonna read this. It no, that's why doesn't I'm, that's say why I can. Just like the noise that says a noise that says don't turn around right behind one of their heads. Yeah, I want to try and like. Do, 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 do. I mean, you can. You just want to yeah, say to, don't turn around. It has to save. It has to save. Uh, it has to make an intelligence investigation. Against, if if it decides to investigate it. Yeah. Which means it doesn't have to at all. Actually, I'm gonna change up the wording a bit. I'm gonna say behind you, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I will. That was your turn, and it will, uh, we, we will see if it will do it on its, on its turn, on the bandit's turn, which is, uh, is this, which is, right now. it's Bran's, Bran's turn. What? What, what? Guys, that was kind of like, we should, uh, go get Seagward and make sure he's actually keeping up with us. Dude, I'm just gonna go over here. Six dollars on a clock on Nintendo. You get some. You get some. All right. <laughs> Eight fifty-five. Oh, this guy's. This guy's. This guy's dumb. <laughs> this guy's dosed. <laughs> That's Brand's turn. Yeah, so it's the bandit's turn. This guy is not. Actually, let me roll for it. Shit, that's right. I can't turn the damn. This guy does. Off. This guy uses his action to investigate sound. <laughs> so what does he have to do? Mm -hmm. An intelligence check against your spell save. Is that what it is? Yeah. Which I believe now is a. It's still 15. <laughs> How? Because it doesn't go. It only goes up when you look, when your proficiency goes up and your intelligence. It's proficiency and intelligence go up, which you didn't level up your intelligence to plus five, so. Fuck. Because it's eight plus intelligence plus proficiency. What? What do you mean, what? It's how, it's how it is. Eight plus no, intelligence plus proficiency. Eight plus. Eight plus intelligence mod plus proficiency bonus. And that is how spell save DC works. Eight plus whatever you use for spellcasting, at least, which for wizards is intelligence. 
and then plus the proficiency bonus. Yes. So plus the... Maybe eight plus your class's spellcasting feature, which for you is intelligence, plus proficiency bonus. Got it. There's intelligence check against your spell save DC. Okay. Investigation. So if you have D &D. Intelligence. Right, we're winning right now. We're being a bunch of bandits right now. Dude, it rolled a 17. It rolled a 17. Dude. So it used to be. Why are you laying down oh. like that? I'll tell you, if you don't see their hands, it's suspect. <laughs> my hands are my hands are right here. My, hand, my hands are right here. <laughs> My hands are up. Oh, we got Mr. Dollar Store camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bandage. You got Mr. some strike and critical attack on you. Mr. Black and White. Oh, he's bleeding. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go play poker. I love you. Alright, love you too. Make good choices. Will okay. do. You're playing poker? Have fun. <laughs> I won't play. Let's see those hands, boys! <laughs> yeah? Who's the, who's the brown? He doesn't have a camera on. That's, that's not that's a person. A, that's a music. music. Oh, so okay. that, that person is definitely playing with the Lima. <laughs> Yeah, bro, your dad stood behind you so menacingly. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was kind of scared. I was kind of scared for my life. Your dad, wa your dad walked in. It's just like the fucking what is it? The Mandalorian music. Doo doo. <laughs> that guy is going to attack. Got the crossbow. Is going to attack. He's gonna attack you, Rika. Does it doesn't eighteen hit you, Rika? An eighteen actually. I think it does, yeah. Does it? Oof. Damn. Oof. My armor class, I think, is exactly. It's well, Where's you take class? seven points of piercing damage if it does hit you. I don't see my armor class on my character sheet. You get nice and comfortable, so I fall asleep. Let me see. Let me see. Six. I don't know why it's you're laying 16. down. You know <laughs> what's gonna happen. Your armor class is sixteen. 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 Don't fuck with my sleep schedule. All right. How much damage I take? You take I'm seven points of piercing schedule. damage. Go fuck with your own sleep schedule. Oh wait, you don't have one. Yeah, him. I do. It's just fucked. I have a sleep schedule. It's called 3 a.m. to like noon. <laughs> Cringe. Wait, how much damage do I take? Sorry. Seven points Nine. of piercing damage. These guys are gonna fucking surround Brand, which means they're gonna get flanking bonus. <laughs> oh. Brand is gonna get hit four times. Cause they don't like him. Fuck. <laughs> they probably recognize him as a guard captain and Damn fuck him up that. Yeah, his armor kind of radiates guard captain, so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard to hide from guard captain. <laughs> well, let's, let's roll the I'm bone arrow first. Sex. The bone arrow does not hit him. And everyone else. Uh, so worried at which is. Sword does not hit him, <laughs> and two a battle axe which does not hit him, and a great axe which does not hit him. <laughs> all right, well they all missed. All right, it's the baddest turn. <laughs> they all just whiff their attacks. Brand just dodges them all left and right. You can see he's What's very he's I... very experienced Brand in combat. Brand is too good. You God, see, he's very experienced in combat. He just he just blocks Dude, the attacks, just dodges them left I'm... and right. I'm waiting for Brand to get fucking one shot by somebody. <laughs> for Brand to get like, you, want, wrecked. you want to instill fear in us? You get you have Brand get his ass kicked. That's how you get us to be scared of somebody. I ain't scared of nothing. Alright, Alex, it's your turn. There's nothing that a fireball. If somebody whoops Brand's ass, then you fucking better be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but somebody's kicking Brand's ass, it's definitely kicking your ass. There's um, nothing are any of them that cannot damaged. Be any, any of them, these, any of these guys, guys damage? No. All right, I'm just gonna attack this guy then. All right, roll to hit. This guy is wearing chain mail, so 16. You gotta beat 16. I am no longer using either of those two dice. I got a 16 on one of them. All right, well you hit him, because this, this guy in front of you has 16. Because chain mail. I'm no longer use either using either of those two dice. Let Actually, me just, let me just add a bunch of random shit to Sigurd's backpack real quick. <laughs> God, my D8 rolls are fucking juicy, bro. 14 damage. Let me see the dice, Aiden. They're Did copper. These, new? these aren't new. These are ones I've had for a while. Oh, shit. Also, I realize I've never been to, um... I still haven't been inside Flip Table yet. I've been there once. It's not as good as Gemini. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine. What is Flip Table? I'm also known by... There's another also... game store in Soden. 
I'm also known by name, I think, at Gemini. So. Same, so I'm. I'm, I'm a I'm Gemini. Twitter, I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I was born May 27th. Ain't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> the Gemini start the 22nd. Alright, well, you hit the guy twice. Ooh. And you hit, you hit him once, sorry. You hit him once, and you do how much damage? 14. 14. He's looking bloodied. God, bitch. I think that's your turn. Oh. Yeah, Jip Cool, it's your turn. Look at that. Yeah. Who's looking the worst? The guy right in front of Alex is my right. Steal the kill, baby. But they're all kind of grouped up together. <laughs> I'm not using another fireball. I know you're not, because that'd be bad. Plus, I don't have a sculpt spell. I'm all out of them, babies. Oh. Wait, it's a cantrip. It's also, I thought it was just a feature, to be fair. Choose it. Alright, roll to hit on the guy you're hitting. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta figure this out first. I can't, okay. I thought maybe I got more sculpt spells. Don't you get them equal to your intelligence mod or something? I don't know. I'll just check. Do your damn attack. <laughs> I gotta figure out which one I want to use. I could just use another level one spell. No, you can use gonna... you can use skull spells as many times as you want. Can I? Yeah, you can. What kind of overpower? Well, you, yeah, can, you can only choose it's... up to. Skull spells is what makes an evocation wizard playing. So I hope it has unlimited uses. You can choose a number of creatures equal to one plus the spell's level to not take damage. Or All right, firebolting the one in front of Alex. Firebolt. All right, roll to hit. Shit. In the meantime, I'm gonna just add a, a bunch of random shit to Secret's backpack. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You get 22. You hit him. You hit this man. Firebolt. Yeah, Firebolt. Damage. Firebolt. Yeah. Two D ten. Oh, it's kind of an overpowered. It's a cantrip, 2d10. It's kind of an overpowered cantrip. Are your spells not like listed correctly? <laughs> no, I am just wasn't on the page. I was just taking a it's guess. It's 2d10, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was right. Mm -hmm. You rolled cool. on. Oh, this guy's. Well, done. those are kind of bad rolls. It doesn't but matter. You still he, killed him. You, had, you dealt his exact health, so congrats. <laughs> you fire both, you just fall on the floor. Mm -hmm. That plus 7 of damage, baby. What? Why oh, do you, no, no, you don't get plus seven. What the fuck? I get a plus three. You don't get plus anything. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Just like I do magic missile. No. Yeah, magic missile is normally plus one. Yeah, I just did three damage, four damage. No, the spell yeah. only does fire damage. You don't get an added bonus. You don't get an added spell. You don't get like added bonuses on right, can cantrips. Oh. So fire bolt only does. So you dealt how much damage? <laughs> you dealt. Four damage. This guy's not dead. Never mind. Cringe ass game. Well, read your spells next time. I don't know how the fucking shit works. Dude, your spell has to read your spells. I've been playing this game for three years and I still don't know how to play. All right. Well, anyway, it is uh, Rika. It's your turn. All right. Let's go is this guy down here still turn around? This guy, yeah. At the moment, he's kind of like inspecting whatever that sound was. <laughs> he appears to have noticed that it's not real, and he's he's like about to turn around. He fell for it. Yeah, he rolled. Okay, yeah. Okay. He well, fell for it, and he uses I'm gonna action. vault over this. He uses action to him. inspect the noise. So, so that right. that costs me twenty feet of movement, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, because you're short. So yes, it's difficult terrain. Yeah, difficult terrain for you because it's like almost as tall as you. Actually, taller than you. I'm pretty sure it's like five feet high. So. Do I roll with advantage? Yeah, because you're sneak attacking. First day only. Both oh, are sevens, but I still get twenty-three. Oh, I know. No, no, I, seven, I, get, I did the math six, wrong. Sixteen. I added both the sevens. Sixteen. So 16. 16 yep. hits, yeah. Sixteen hits. Yeah, sixteen hits. Okay. This man's wearing leather armor, so a lot of things are gonna hit him. <laughs> Nine, Nine damage. Nine damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Doesn't kill. No. I'll roll to hit again. This one, I'm guessing, doesn't come with advantage. No, it does not. 
because he's now aware of your presence because you smacked him right in the back. This one actually is a 23. <laughs> this one does it. <laughs> Look at that. Sweet. Aiden, are you going camping this weekend? Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. Max damage, Max 16. Max damage, 16 plus 9. Max damage! 16, 25. Oh, he's done. Yeah. 25 exact. Mm -hmm. Nice. You just obliterated his health bar. Booyah. I'm now it appears to be these the guys. three guys right in front of Brand, who's... Brand's not just... Brand's just shrugging off all their attacks. Mm -hmm. And you have this guy with the bow and arrows running bow and scout the crossbow is running his crossbow. It is Brand's turn. It's Brand's turn. <laughs> it's Brand's turn. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he is going to... You're just gonna smack the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna smack the guy. L plus ratio plus you're gay. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna use this feature that I just fucking read that he had. <laughs> Brand, like, he pulls up his weapon a bit. Face me! And you feel that his words have, like, magical power. Mm -hmm. And everyone needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I got proficiency in that! Not you. All the bad guys. All the bad camp. guys, yeah. Wisdom saving throw. No, my is no. Wisdom saving throw. Do, do, do. I still succeed anyways. Da da. Da da. Is it spell safe? It might be spell safe. Alright. I'm just gonna roll as a group because I don't want to roll for six of them. Or five of them. Hmm. That's so boring though because then all oh, of them. Oh, they all failed. They all failed. <laughs> Alright. As a bonus action. That's actually a bonus action. He's gonna attack the guy in front of him. He's attacked the guy that you wounded, but he didn't kill. Who, me? Yeah, you. You hit some. You mean me and Al? Yeah, the, guys, the guy that you guys wounded. What a waste of a turn. I fucked that up real bad. <laughs> what? There's 21. This guy's fucking done. This guy does d20 damage. Hmm? Is that a, is that a D, D10? D8. Oh, they just always look like and that's that. And that's a natural one. Alright. <laughs> Why do they turn. look like 20s? It's the end of his turn. It is now the bandit's turn. These guys are gonna gang up on him because they have to. They have to attack him. <sighs> All four of them are gonna attack him. All four of them. <laughs> that's one of the bandits. As one of the bandits. Does this guy have line of sight? Should should know. Yeah, more yep. or less. Yeah. Well, he shouldn't. He should. <laughs> As one of the bandits brings down his weapon, brings out his his great axe. You damn! You damned guard! Die! <laughs> brings his great axe down at Brand. It doesn't hit him. Why? Why would it? Why would it hit him? Oh, well, that that hits him though. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I had some too. <laughs> okay. So that'd be bow. Leave phone near ear. I fall asleep, you scream at top of lungs. Damn, he takes a lot of damage this turn.
Alright, that's his turn. <laughs> it is now. Alex, it's your turn. It's go time. Oh! It's go time. It's go time. It's go time. They all seem compelled this, to fight Brand. This guy. This guy? <laughs> you you don't want to move to get dumb flagging bonus? <laughs> this guy. Oh, hell yeah, this brother. Right you get them flagging bonus. Roll advantage. They seem compelled to attack Brand. 725. 16 plus 9. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is wearing a bit heavier armor. Asperger damage. Asperger damage, what'd you even get? <laughs> Um, 2 plus 4 plus 8. 2 plus 4 plus 2, so 8 fire. <laughs> Alright. I need to attack him again. Attack him again, with advantage. Cause you're still blanking. <laughs> That's an at 20. Alright, well, congrats. Congrats on the crit, you're gonna fucking kill him. How, uh, how much damage is it? How much, uh, how much uh, HP? Uh, what does it look like? Just roll damage, you dingus. Cause you might uh, not kill uh, him. Well, I might divine spite him. If you want to divide spine, go ahead. You might not kill him with base damage. Well, I got max damage. <laughs> he is not. Well, you, you did do true. Um, 8 plus 4 plus 2, so that's 14, four, 28 plus damage. 28 damage. 28 plus, what was your previous? 8? 28 plus 36. Yes. He's gone. <laughs> and he's gone. Damn. Damn, look at my fucking forehead! Airline Jack. Is that your turn or? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's your turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do anything else. All right, Jip Cool, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, um. Oh, fuck. Oh. Can I like move? Again? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move next to Brand then, and if he gets attacked, I'm gonna impose dis just impose disadvantage as my oh. reaction. My well, man is like <laughs> 20 AC. Not gonna fucking hit him. I failed. Out of all the attacks, I think I hit him three times. <laughs> I think oh, I rolled okay. attacks. Yeah, twice. I mean, like, but if like if he does get hit, just use my yeah. reaction to. Yeah, I'm just gonna use defensive. I think it's defensive fighting. All right. Anyway, Jeff, cool. It's your uh, turn. Protection fighting. Yeah. Okay. Wizard, it's your turn. You don't have line of sight on the other guy. Do you? You do. You can hit these two because you can't see the guy. Squish between Alex and Brand. <laughs> so you can get uh -huh. any. You can get any of the range guys with line of sight. Let's oh. move. I'm frostbiting that guy that you're pointing at right there. This guy right here? Yeah. What's the range on that shit? 60 feet? 60 feet. Yeah, we're gonna hit him because he's only 35 feet away. Alright, he's gotta roll a con saving throw and I gotta. A con roll saving throw. Frostbite. A con saving throw versus spell save DC. And it does 2d6 points of damage. Oh, if, the target, if the target fails, it takes 2d6 points of damage. Oh, you, you don't actually have to roll a hit, I think. Uh, it doesn't say it rolls it. I just have to roll a con save versus your spell save. Mm. That guy? I rolled a 14. I think that fails. That fails, baby! He's got which this means, advantage. Which means, he, which means he, takes, he takes 2d6 points of cold damage to roll damage. <clears throat> roll 2d6. And he's disadvantaged on his next attack. Alright. Mm. What'd you get? 7? Alright. Yeah. I think that unless you want to move, that's your turn, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna move. You're gonna move? Alright, where are you gonna move? Right here. Right there? Alright. It is now. Okay, it's your turn. The, the mini ninja, it's your turn. Hehehehe. <laughs> yeah, mini boy. ninja, <laughs> his haste <laughs> is up. I know it is. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. And I don't want to use it again. Aren't you out of throw level spell slots? Well, I've got one more. In the market, that shit down, brother. I thought you were I out. I do. Uh, for me, it said it was out. Uh, no. I've got one more. Let's refresh the now page. It's I'll just refresh the page. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, I've got two level ones, three level twos, a level three, and two. I'm gonna levels. run down here. All and attack right. the guy with the bow and arrow. All right. This guy's, he's pretty hurt. I mean, he's not, he's not like hurt hurt, but he's like, he took some damage. Alright. I'm gonna roll a d20. Hit. It's not, I don't have advantage, do I? No, because he knows you're there. That's a Not that one. That's, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Just get, get them out of the way now. Great. That's, that's that too. still doesn't hit. <laughs> Wait, can't you, can't you re-roll something? Or is it only damage? 
Am that's I only damage. damage. If I roll damage, like a yeah. one or two in damage, I can re-roll. Yeah, because like that, I have on the Paladin as well. Brand is that too. Mm -hmm. Lord. It's a great weapon yeah, fighting, great I think. Fighting, yeah. Which I realized I could have used earlier. I rolled two in damage. Re -roll oh, well. that. Oh, well. Regardless, you don't Whatever. hit him. Regardless, you don't hit him. So. Alright. Brand's turn. Brand is going to fucking obliterate this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He hit some. He hit some. <laughs> Wait, Cam, if you ex if you aspired to be my length of hair, why did you get a buzz cut? Don't ask. <laughs> okay. <20. laughs> this guy gets fucking obliterated. <laughs> Peer pressure, that's why. And Brad is just gonna leap over the things. Just to be he's he's at average height, so it won't take him that long, we'll just take him an athletics check. He's at height, so it doesn't matter. Just gonna, yeah. So he just obliterated the guy in front of you, Alex, and it just leaps, just vaulted over the, the tomb, just lands right in front of the guy with the bow and arrow. Okay, Brand. Mm -hmm. It's the end of his turn. Alright, it's the bandit's turn. He's gonna point black attack him with a bow because he doesn't know what else to do. <laughs> Which means he gets disadvantage. <laughs> Dumbass. Which means he missed. <laughs> Does he- wait, who- who is doing this? Which one? The bandit right in front of Brand, who's gonna shoot him with a bow and a mist. Which one's, which one's Brand? Purple guy? Purple guy. Got it. Oh, the bandit missed, and he's gonna try and run away, which means Brand gets a time for to turn right. And Brand hits him. Bro said, fuck you. We ain't leaving. Fucking fucking one shots him. <laughs> he fucking one shots him. He did exactly. He did exactly 18 HP. He fucking one shots him. <laughs> All right, you still have this guy in front of you. Oh, this guy's guy's gonna fucking run away from you, Rico. I shot him opportunity. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna back up to the door. And we'll see you like out damage him right now. Yeah, that's it. This guy took. This guy took. Uh, this guy took. Ten damage. I don't think that kills. Seventeen. No, he's very weak though. He was very very hurt. He's gonna back up towards the door, and uh, ready a crossbow bolt to aim at you. And the uh, sixteen, I think, hits you. Yeah. Yep. Barely. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Which means take nine points of piercing damage. <laughs> Almost max damage. 52 L. Alright, Alex, it's your turn. This guy's scared for his life. This guy over here is scared for his fucking life, dude. Dude, how do we move our eyeballs? You move your eyeballs? How, do, how does our body move them? There's muscles that push them right. Is he not here? Is he not here? Carson, it's your turn. Oh! Oh! I do that. Yeah, you did. He zoned out. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's your turn. This man, last guy alive. Just, just leap over the tomb. You know, just hop I'm over. I'm gonna it. hard rush. I'm gonna hard rush him. Yeah. That what do I hit? hit? What do you What do you mean? Four plus eight. nine. Thirteen. Yeah, that hits. That's four plus nine. Yeah. Just, just barely. Okay. Well, then the, the second one definitely hits because it's a sixteen plus nine. <laughs> yeah. Leather armor, uh, lowest shit AC. Twelve. I love my shitty AC enemies. It feels so good to fight them. I'd rather have an enemy with more health and lower AC than 24. anything. Because 24. It's more fun. Twenty-four. This guy was already real, real weak from Rika, so like, you just kind of slam the Morning Star on his head and he collapses to the ground. Blood Can splatters I, like, across the wall. <laughs> like I just vault over the tomb. And as I swing my morning star, it hits him square in the chest, right? And he just like, gets <laughs> thrown into the wall and slams against it and then just fucking dies. He slams against the wall, blood coughs out on the floor. You see him like twitching a bit as he collapses to the ground and he just falls lifeless. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of scoff. <laughs> what a paladin, am I right? Perfectly <laughs> slaughtering bandits. 
Is this a door? That is a door. You were absolutely correct. I'm gonna look behind me. Is this also a door? As you turn around, you hear lumbering armor clanking behind you. Hey guys, See what's going her? on? <laughs> what's oh, going on, you guys? Oh, what happened here? <laughs> Slaughter death. Murder. You see, he's, he's holding just a bunch of random shit. <laughs> oh my god. You do Anything see, you there? do see on the top of the pile, what appears to be a rubber ducky. <gasps> the sacred rubber duck. What Does it you? have magical, does it have magical runes on it by chance? No. Oh, were you guys? Were you guys fighting? My apologies. Huh? Secret is talking to you guys. He he wandered in the room as you guys finished fighting. <laughs> He's just holding a bunch of random shit. <laughs> Anything good in there? Not that you can see. I mean, you don't know because his his pile is just covered in stuff. He just. I was asking him. Huh? As he drops, he just dropped literally all of it into the, into his bag and disappears. <laughs> Wait, he has a bag of holding, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, I found stuff. Hey, what did you guys do in here? And he kind of like walks over one of the bodies. <laughs> Ooh. Killed a bunch of people, that's what. Oh, what does that, my friend? As he kind of just like walks into the tomb and he pushes it to the side. <laughs> This some sort yeah, of I wanna, door. Yeah, I want to raid the tombs. What's inside the tombs? What's inside the tombs? Do not raid the tombs. You want to raid the tombs? All There's right. really big tombs. I've got to solve an investigation. Check. God. Yeah. I'm and I'm gonna and I'm gonna be like, Jibku, do not open those tombs. <laughs> Why shan't I? Because it's immoral. But money. They've already been moved from their original resting place by these bandits. They don't need to be moved more. I'm just moving them back. You're clearly trying to open one. Right. I'm not strong enough to, to put them all. Well, which one are you inspecting? All of them or just one of them? Sure. All of them? All right. As you... Do a general inspection. Rika's not really happy with you as you're desecrating tombs. You just kind of push open the lid. A lot of them are empty. They've already been looted. Pretty much. Like, there's not even skeletons in there? There are skeletons, but, like, what are you going to do with bones? <laughs> spears. Make homemade spears. Please right. do not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why'd you sound like the angry bird? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> ah, I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know what you did. <laughs> anyway, you guys come across. As you turn around, Alex, yes, there is an entranceway where the uh, railway is going, and you see down that hallway there appears to be a lit, a lit campfire, but you don't see any. You don't see anyone in there, but there does appear to be like a gate at the end. There's also a lot of stuff there too, just like piles. So which way do we go? Do we go through this door, or do we follow the railroad? I think we go through this door first since it's closer, and then we go that way later. True. Let's go through this door. As you walk up to the door, you see Sigurd trying to like push it, and he's like really trying really hard. <laughs> and yet, Can there's I not. Help him push it? Sure. Roll strength check. Poor fucker. Well, anyone wants to help with strength check? Gonna, I'm gonna give this another chance. I'm gonna give this dice another chance. It's gonna fail. I'm gonna tell you it's gonna fail. That is a yep. That is a one. I told you it was That's gonna a, fail. No, it's a it's a two. Is it two? All right. It's a two. What a sweet, plus what, uh. What money? Plus seven though. Well, not plus seven. Plus uh plus four. Oh. Next paycheck, so, I'm gonna get dollar paradise. So two plus a six plus six is twelve. So you don't you don't even budge this massive stone door. <laughs> Can I give it a go? Sure. Can I help him? Sure. <laughs> Alright, so I'm rolling with advantage. Everyone. Is it just a regular strength check? It is a regular strength check, yes. Sigurd's also gonna help you, but it doesn't matter. So just. Am, am I rolling again, or? 
No. Mm -hmm. Roll a strength check with advantage. Twenty. That is a 12 17. plus seventeen. All right. No. Nah. You don't. You don't even. The door doesn't even budge. Guys, you, I think the DM wants us to go a certain way. The door doesn't budge, and your feet start scraping holes in the ground. <laughs> well, I'll just, I'll just turn around, walk this way. Yeah, yeah I'm guessing we need an at twenty to move this door. As you, door as you walk like? that way, Alex. I swear to God, if you have me roll a dexterity saving throw again, I'm gonna lose my no, fucking mind. No, but as you walk in, you hear something in the tent right in front of you. <laughs> something shuffling around in the tent. You'll see a desk with a lot of papers on it, and a key. Guys, I think it's time we open the door. I'm gonna move up to. The, I'm, I'm gonna move towards the tent. Mm, towards the tent, and some and this like ogre walks out. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and actually, this ogre is almost double your size. <laughs> My turn. Let me go. Let me go now. Is it aggressive? As as you walk up, it looks. It walks up to you. Hey, you. As it points up at you, you not allowed here. Turn back. No. If I th I think. He seems scratching his head. It's not very smart. <laughs> We I was supposed to. I stop. Yes. Wait. I wanna. I wanna think for a second. Do I know the bandit captain's name? You know him as Wolf. At least what his troops I'm called him, are is, is Brigand Wolf. I'm gonna look at um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at the my party. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at the ogre. So you're telling me. No, wait, no, let me start away. I want to fight him, Carson. How do you think Wolf's going to respond when I'm not able to get through? What? I feel like that should Roll be a persuasion. a persuasion check. Carson, I want to kill him. I'm kind of... All I want to use. I'm kind of confused on what you're asking. So roll persuasion check for me. I'm, I'm trying to. You're trying to get. To, you're trying to get to the smart. door. Yeah. I'm trying to convince him that, like, me and Wolf have a meeting, so that we, we can just, just go. We just get I think it'll door. be pretty okay. hard to convince okay. someone he sees his dead guards back behind. Well, no, he's in the room. He has shit. <laughs> um, sixteen plus seven. Sixteen plus seven. Twenty-three. You see him. He really. He looks at you. And he, he like leans in real close and he really seems to get some thought. Wolf. Yes, that is. Wolf is. Who is, who is that again? <laughs> if I had to assume, it's the guy giving you your orders. I was told to stay here and stop people from coming through door. As he points to the door. <laughs> Why that door? Because that door is really important, is what that very tall man said to me. There was also I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda... there was also this little little person next to him. <laughs> she was very loud. I'm gonna take a couple of steps back, and I'm gonna kind of nod towards the big door back here. What about that one? Oh, the one over there. This one, yeah. I see. If you help us open he, he that like, door, he like stumbles past you to look into the door. <laughs> if if you help us open that door, we don't have to go through this one. You see, his his eyesight's kind of bad, so he's kind of like s squinting a bit to see into the room. A little perception check, see if she fucking notices the bodies or not. <laughs> you just pass a perception. Yeah, but passive, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> His, uh, Why? Because his past perception is like what, sixteen or something? It's six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> his wisdom tones are not very good. <laughs> good. Let me use the spell Which on him. Which means he gets a minus two to perception. <laughs> Let me kill him. It's twelve. See, he squints in the room. Oh, that one! As he points at the giant door in the back. <laughs> I was told to never open that. 
As he looks, he looks back at you. Do I know you? <laughs> You're like over here now. <laughs> I'll look at him. Probably not, but your captain does. And he's gonna be very upset if our meeting can't go as scheduled. Roll a perception. Or persuasion. Perception check. <laughs> He's not very he's not very smart, but he does have he is, he is like kind of dewy bound. Mm -hmm. Fourteen plus seven, twenty-one. Something like that. I just want to kill the damn thing. Why? So rude. Cut. Damn, quit being a murder hobo and just play, enjoy the role play. He has a shit wisdom, and I have an attack that goes off. Yeah, it's, you want to use your new fourth level spell? I know what it does. Mm -hmm. I want to freak the living shit out of this guy. So I want to make him so scared that he takes forty ten psychic damage. Meeting, 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 meeting. Wait, was, was it psychic damage or was it? It's psychic damage. Yeah. He he also wrote like the table with like papers and stuff on it. He doesn't seem to find the key. <laughs> can I... Can I look at him? He kinda... As he's like shuffling stuff across the table, he's noticed that the key just kinda... Falls on the ground. But he's still looking on the table. <laughs> I'll, I'll walk over and... Pick up the key and hand it to him. The longer this takes, the worse it's gonna be for you. I don't like pain. Aww. That's why I'm trying to get this done fast. The sooner we get through that door, the less you have to experience it. Hmm. Which isn't even a, that's not even a bluff yeah. either, because we will just kill him if we have to. <laughs> Cam is asleep. Yep. Is he? Alright. That sucks. Hurry up. I'm resting my eyes, they hurt. He grabs the key from you, and then he grabs his other paper as well. And he walks towards the door, and then he opens it. And he just walks through the door. And he just walks through the door. He's just gonna continue on. <laughs> I'll kinda- I'll look back and just shrug. <laughs> just walk. I'll follow. I'll follow too. Same. Good way to use charisma, but I think now we gotta fight that guy and the boss at the same time. Not unless I can convince him to turn around. Because he's duty bound, right? So why would he just abandon his post? If I remind him about his post. Can I call him? Can I call for him? Sure. You call for him. He, <gasps> turns, he turns around. What I... about your post? Hmm? But you have meeting. I was told to attend all meetings. Oh god. Can I see that order? <laughs> he kinda like thinks of it. <laughs> okay. Means he kinda just gives it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Does it actually say to attend all meetings? Yes. The order the order specifically states You also learn his name. Rahak Zor. By under can no I say it? You can try. <laughs> I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> and it says, Rahak. Uh, it says Rahak Zor. You shall not attend. You shall not let anyone pass this door. And you sh and if required, you shall attend all meetings. <laughs> Reminder: Do not let anyone pass this door, at all. <laughs> <laughs> And in like deep and like large letters, do not let anyone pass the door. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be some unlikable shit behind this door. Oh fuck! What do I even say? He already opened the door, and he's like walking to <laughs> it leads yeah, to another, it leads I... to another cave. <laughs> how do I keep him here?
That is a good question. I want to look at him. Rahak Zor, is it not? He turns around and he like, he like thinks of it. Yes, that is the name that was given to me. It says here, do not let people pass this door. How will you know if people come through this door when you're gone? You see, like, a worried... He seems worried now. You can see, like, a worried expression of fear on his face. You just... <laughs> oh, this poor what, guy. What so, have I it's done? too stupid to get it. What have I done? Hey, I'll, I'll like, I'll kind of, like, put my you, hands you up. See, it's you okay. See, you it's see okay. him, you see him, like, he's not, like, walking back and forth. His hands are, like, on the side of his head. I right, let people pass door. I'm gonna get hit now. No! What? <laughs> that tiny lady is gonna do the big bangs on me. She's gonna what? It. She's gonna do the big what to him? The big bangs? The big bangs. He's gonna get. I don't sex. think. I think. I think that means she's she, the tiny lady's gonna sex the ogre. I'll Shrek. Him. No, no, no! You, <laughs> you, you has you has wrong, little man. She has tiny thing. She has a gun. <laughs> She, she has tiny thing and then it, she throw and then it makes loud bang. <laughs> um, like fire does, he have any, does he have a cut anywhere? He has a does lot he, of he, he has a lot of burns and bruise marks. <laughs> Can I use like a point of lay on hands to mend the cuts? Sure. Use okay. a point of lay on hands, and you mend the cuts that were there. Some of them are some. Some of them are actual scars, so they won't go away that easily. But... Yeah, I'll look at them and see, and I'll be like, "See, you've nothing to worry about. All you have to do is just make sure that make just follow your orders, and make sure that no one else comes through the door. For us, and I'll look at the party." We have a meeting with your boss. We are an exception. But I let people. I it. let people through the door. You can see tears being stream down his face. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. Like I said, we're an exception. Okay. And Cam's out. And I'm out. I don't. There I, you are. I don't understand. <laughs> exception. I don't know what that means. Your boss will let this one slide. Nothing will happen from us going through the door. All you have to do is just guard it and make sure no one else comes through the door. Okay? If you can do that, then I'll be very proud of you. You'll have done a good job. Good job? You see his eyes kind of sparkle a bit? <laughs> yes, a good job. Now you, however, you must go back and in order for you to do a good job, you need to make sure you need to stay by the door. Hmm. He gives some real thought to it. Promise I won't get hurt. No, no big bangs. Yes. And I'll kind of like give him a smile. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Fuck. 14 plus 7, 21. He stops crying and he stands up straight. You see, his weapon is like almost as tall as you. <laughs> it looks like his weapon is. It looks like it will hurt. Yeah, that thing. I'm it looks like it'll hurt him. if that thing hits you. That thing will hurt a lot. Resource consolidation. I'm trying not to enter any unnecessary fights. He waddles past you guys. And you know, just like... Just down on the floor. <laughs> he looks back at you. No one passed the door. And he gives like a... He gives like a kind of like a thumbs up. <laughs> but his hand's kind of like crooked a bit. Because he doesn't really know what it means. 
and I'll, I'll I'll return a thumbs up, and then I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk back and close the door behind him. <laughs> All right. And then just like under once the door is closed, just under my breath, go Jesus, and then just keep walking down the cave. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Can I get inspiration? I think I'll think about it. <laughs> Most likely, yeah, but after. You guys enter the next cave. And you hear a lot of metal clanging coming from down the hall. <laughs> oh, this is a sus cave. This is a sus cave. Hey guys, I think there's people in this room. <laughs> people in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, get up! It's combat. Let's go. <laughs> it's fucking done. All right, I'm playing as him then. He's, He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> guess, guess I'm playing. Guess I'm not playing as him then. All right, let's go. He's out, bro. Cameron right. dead. All right. Anyway, hold on, hold on. Everybody, turn me down. Okay. Uh oh. Let me know when we're ready. Uh oh. Ready. <laughs> is he even wearing his earbuds? I don't think he is. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that. Okay, we tried. Enough of that. I gave him my best shot. You guys walk into what appears to be another cavern. Or a continuation of this cave, at least. And you hear a lot of metal clanging coming about. Look, look down here. Look down here, and there appears to be a cave in. <laughs> dun dun dun! There's shit behind this, I know it! Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep walking. Not, not right now, there isn't. <laughs> As you turn the corner from here, the metal clanging, you see, they don't seem to notice you, but you see, say, you see a lot of anvils, and they appear to be making weapons. <laughs> You're making a lot of weapons. We about to arm the town of Haven, bro. From where your point of view, you only see one guy who's banging away, and I'd like to see you can hear a guy giving orders. I'll, I'll look back. I'm guessing everybody follows. Yeah. I'm following. Everyone but this guy. This guy doesn't exist anymore. He's over there now. <laughs> We're just a party of marshals. Pretty Marshal sure. classes. Par party of, of beat everything else with a pokey stick. Two paladins and two fighters, just ready to kick ass. A, par a party of a party of beat everything to death with a pokey stick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is it? Rush on three. What? <laughs> what do you mean rush on three? <laughs> One, two, three. I guess I'm we're just, doing this. I'm just gonna run down the cave. Can I? Can we get a surprise round? We can all gang gang on that one guy. And we get flanking bonus. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run up right to this sure, guy. Sure, sure, yeah. I'll see you, I'll see so you get, get, I'll get, see you get surprise round. round, yeah. Oh shit. Wait. If you don't kill him, then I will also attack him. I'm almost tempted to go. So, since you can hit this guy, I'm almost tempted to go for this guy down here. Since I can hit him as well. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So I'll run right here, and then you get this guy, and then I'll grab this guy. Sweet. Do I get a Sounds flanking good. bonus on this guy? Brand runs in, and Secret runs in to fight this guy who appears to be the captain. Flanking bonus on God this damn. guy? No. Secret got some fucking move speed, bro. Mm, that was a surprise round. So I'm not counting move speed right now. Advantage anyway, right? Yeah, it's all, all advantage. All attacks, all advantage. Oh shit, wait, no, that's not my dice for combat. Well, I get, I rolled 12 twice, so 21. Brand hits oh, that 16 guy. plus 9, and so Brand 25. Hits Brand hits that guy anyway. Mm -hmm. 
So it doesn't matter. Seek word. Oh, hit some twice. All right. I, I rolled a 21 and a 25 to hit. You hit him. Both? Yeah. What? Did I spell it wrong? Just put it away. Oh my god, ass rolls. <laughs> I rolled two twos. <laughs> um, um, um. 14 damage total. Um, um. I don't know. I don't know how the bot works, so I'll just fucking replay the shit then. Whatever. 14 damage on this guy right here. Okay. That guy's not dead. I didn't expect him to be. Sigurd is going to attack this guy twice. We're going to attack this guy one time. Rick, uh, what'd you roll? I rolled a 16 plus 9, so uh, 25. Yeah, that hits. So you're hitting this guy right here? Right. Yeah. This guy is still kind of like staggered at the anvil. He's going to get fucking back and bonk twice. <laughs> I roll 7 damage. The guy twice. That's a, pff, a one or a twelve. See what can we roll? Cause fucking weapon fighter. Mm. Can he? Yeah. Does he have great weapon fighting? Yes. Great weapon fighter. Great weapon fighting. Wait, I can also re-roll because I have great, great weapon, weapon fighting. Great weapon fighting. I don't think he has it. No, I don't think he has it. Cause I don't think I put it on him. Cause I'm a big dumb. Whatever. Mm. Oh well. My second roll is an 18. I mean an 8. An plus, eight six. plus 6. 14. So Sigurd does 20, 20, 20, 21, 23. I'm dumb. So 23 points of damage on that guy. Alex, you do how much? 14. 14. That guy's not dead. That guy's not dead. Brand. Mm -hmm. Fucking oblivious this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 14 plus 1. I still have an extra attack. What do I do? I can shoot someone with a bow. Sure. Go for it. Because mm. um, we're rolling we'll right afterwards. So. I'll shoot this guy. Shit, the See what my bow attack is. Band has got 18. Shoot. <laughs> plus 6. Plus 6, okay. I got 24. 24 hits, yes. Scared here? This guy. Scared here, okay. And I deal 1d8 plus 3 damage. Alright. 9 damage to him. Roll initiative, by the way. Nine, that guy's not dead, obviously, but. What'd you roll for initiative? Both of you. Um, let me see. One sec. 14. 14. 14, 14, 14. 15 minus 1. Yeah, 14. You're going after Sigurd. Or after Brand. Double Paladin. Turn. Plus 3. I roll 17. 17. You're going. Just after the bandits. <laughs> All the bandits go first. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Yippee. They must have rolled an 18. They did. They rolled an 18. <laughs> can I even use... Yeah, I actually can. Alright. They're gonna arm themselves. And they're gonna fucking... Yeah. He's gonna move up here. He's gonna move up here and attack you. This guy is going to shoot... This guy's gonna shoot. This guy's going to. Mm. Uh oh, uh oh, Secret's getting triple teamed. Uh oh. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. -oh. Uh -oh. My boy is getting triple teamed. Not Seagull Ward. It's okay, we have a heal bot with all of his heals still up, so. Oh, jeez, I did not do that right. Mm. Here. Move here. Does that guy have reach? Here, actually. No, he doesn't. That's why he's moving here. 
So that'd be three attacks to Seward, one on Alex, one on Rika, and one on Alex again. <laughs> so two on Alex, one on Rika, three on Seward. <laughs> so I'll do yours, Alex. I'm first. the unsuspecting goblin. No one ever attacks me. Right, that's why I'm rolling Alex first. <laughs> so one of them is a crossbow, so it'd be four. A six does not hit you, I already fucking know that. <laughs> and then Great Axe, one does not hit you, obviously. <laughs> and Rika, you're getting hit by a crossbow, so 13 does not hit you. <laughs> and Sigurd's and Sigurd turn. <laughs> Was it two battle axes? A battle axe, a great axe, a battle axe is four. 16 doesn't hit. A great axe is five. And that doesn't hit. <laughs> and then, guys, sword and shield. And that doesn't hit either. None of them hit. Not a single person hits. <laughs> they were too Ooh, surprised. Yeah. They were too surprised. All right, Rika, it's your Your turn. I'm going to use the washroom. So what you want to do? You're going to be right back, you said? All right. Yeah, I got to use the washroom. What you doing, Ricka? Aiden. Aiden, what are you You're doing? Muted. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't push my keybind. Whatever. Hey, what are you doing? So I think I'm gonna go attack. I'm gonna step right here and attack this guy here. Step, okay. All that sweet to hit bonus you got there. What time is it? 11. That's 22. 22 does hit. Does hit indeed. Man got a sword. Nine, Nine damage. It doesn't do that much, but it's better than nothing. Second attack. It's another 22. 22 hits, yeah. <laughs> Took more damage. 14. 14 more damage, so... 20, 20, not 21, I'm dumb. 23. That's the one. Yeah, 23 damage. He's about to die. <laughs> He's very hurt. He's for real hurt. Alright, it's your turn. He's fucking... He's dead. Come, 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 Fuck. Anyway, it is... Bran's turn. <laughs> you attack this guy with the fucking crossbow because he shot at you, Rika. Because you're a punk bitch. Mm -hmm. He hits him. He does not hit him with that attack, unfortunately. Alright. He, he misses me or hits me? No, Brand, it's Brand's turn. He's attacking the guy. Oh. Twenty-three points of damage. Booyah! Bop. He's gone. One shot. <laughs> well, no, he he wasn't. I hit him. No, not that guy. Someone else. Oh. Brand is one shot. Someone else. He one shot one of the range guys. They have less. I thought I hit that range guy with a bow and arrow. Did you? 
Yeah. Then I guess you did. I don't remember. So I guess you did. <laughs> no, yeah, you did. Okay. You did. Wait, Cam's awake. I just saw him moving. Mm -hmm. He also moved his camera. Bitch, get Cam, up. you up? Bitch, get up. <laughs> it's only time I caught. Eh? We're in combat right now. We're fighting boys. Cameron, get up! <laughs> My eyes hurt. Your eyes hurt? His eyes uh -huh. hurt. And we're in combat right now. <laughs> you need to roll initiative, by the way. Because I didn't roll for you. Oh, my hand's sweaty because it's been sitting under my head. No, put your hand on your head. Huh? No, put your hand on your head. Roll initiative. How to unlock my computer? Oh. My right eye is like. Right there. Bro, honestly, I just go to bed, man. Duck shot. Well, it's just I had my eye, my right eye closed because my eye was smushed against my arm. I'm chilling. I will admit, for part of that, I was dozing off, but I'm good now. Because I can't um, remember what happened. You guys walked into, like, their furnace weapon making room. Alright, my initiative is plus one. Yes, it is. What's the time? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Seven. You're going after literally everyone else, so. Go. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's Alex, it's your turn. You got the guy in front of you. Seagull's getting triple teamed. And Brandon's gonna fucking uh, kill these guys. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just move up five feet. Oh shit. And then I'm gonna attack. Oh shit. This guy right here? Uh, no, I'm gonna attack the guy next to me. Oh, okay. That's a natural 20. Alright, well, yeah. Double damage. Go ahead and. That is almost max damage. Oh. 26. 26. 26 with double? No, that is double. Okay. That's what I, asked, what I said. 26 with the double. Oh, I thought you said 26 doubled, implying that double that. Oh, God, no. 26. You hit the guy before, right? I'm pretty sure you did. I'm not really kidding. Yeah, you did. I remember that. Yeah, so he's done. I did ass he's done. damage, though. He's, I did. still done. As long as you did, like, he had 30 HP, as long as you had 4. <laughs> then. Yeah, I, well, I definitely yeah, want four, 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 four. Okay, and then I'm gonna attack this guy. Alright. Fourteen. Fourteen? Five plus nine. No. Doesn't hit him. So. Okay. And then if, if, um, if he gets attacked, just impose disadvantage on one of them. Okay. Sigurd's turn. It's the perfect opportunity. <laughs> He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Um, am I not in his way too? Well, you're in his way. <laughs> I should have moved back five feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna run through them all. What the fuck? He's, he's gonna. He's gonna. Six, seven, seven, two, 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 okay. I'm gonna attack this guy twice. And he hits him both times. I'm gonna roll damage for that. <laughs> 15, 20. Uh, you hit this guy, right? Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. You missed. 15 plus, 15 plus 13 is 28. Let me check. So close. <laughs> he was there now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll the hit again. So he moves here, which means this guy also gets hit. Mm -hmm. This guy gets hit three times, because, you know, fuck off. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it just hit? That's an extra one. <laughs> 
Oh, the attack whiffs on a natural one. The attack is straight up fails on a natural one. <laughs> Alright. So we hit some ones. Well, Secret is now in the middle of all three of them, and prone, and none of them are dead. <laughs> so. so hot. <laughs> Bro, we need to do something about these NPCs. <laughs> They're so overpowered. Yeah, we need to bring him down a peg. It's his special move that he can use once. <laughs> For combat. <laughs> But he's also prone. Kind of in a bad spot right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't he kill everybody? Nope. <laughs> he killed none of them. Oh. <laughs> Not a single one. Because he rolled a natural oh, one, sure. and a natural one automatically fails the attack. <laughs> the entire attack. Oh, well, damn. That's his turn. <laughs> so he's a big spawn. Alright, Chip Cool, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh yeah, brother, there is three surrounding Sigurd. And two to the left, two to the right of Brand. Or, to the right, yeah. On the map is to the right. Mmm. Dude. Alright. I was likely half asleep. What happened to Ogre Boy? Ogre oh, Boy. Oh, I just... Persuasion. Kind of persuasion. Him. Persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a series of very good persuasion checks. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Mm. I'll frostbite one of them. Alright. I'll frostbite. This motherfucker right here. Far right here? Alright. You know. No. The weakest one is to, right here. No, I'm gonna do this one right here. Oh, right there? Alright. That yeah. one's about- that one's bloodied. The weakest is to the left, the bottom is bloodied, and to the right appears you flow. I'm not worried about the weakest, I'm worried about Seagord not getting hit. <laughs> and I'm assuming Brand can handle this guy right here. And Brand's kind of occupied by other things <laughs> at the moment. That's alright. So I'm gonna do one. So he's gotta make a DC 15 save to not have disadvantage. If you disadvantage, <laughs> and you have disadvantage on the next attack. I'm just gonna cast a lot of enemies using attack secret on his next turn. So wait a minute, hold up. That would be your turn. I'll be right back. Anywhere. Did he saved? He didn't know, he failed. Oh, okay, uh, I already do damage. Yeah! Alright. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone else's turn. Alright, it's the bandit's turn. Rekka? Yes. <laughs> oh. Rekka? Yes. <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. Don't attack me, bitch. You just arrived, so I'm gonna attack you. Not, not cause, but cause the NPCs are, the enemies aren't like, slimes. They use their intelligence. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. He's gonna attack you, Rika, with a sword. Does a seven does not hit you. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. think so, bitch. All right, yeah. does a 14 hit you, Jipquoo? Uh. That's pretty, pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure 14 hits so. you. Yeah. Yeah, alright. You take oh, nine points of piercing damage. Oh. 
Dude, that motherfucker's about to get blown up next turn. <laughs> Sigurd's getting attacked three times. Only two of them have advantage, though. One of them is base, just One of them is normal. base, yeah, because cause the advantage nullifies the advantage. Damn. Let me roll, let me roll the advantage first. Mm -hmm. 33 health. I'm Janner, by the way, I'm pretty sure that resistance is just only from when I'm in the crystal. I'm pretty sure it says that on the item you get resistance to all non-magical damage. I don't know. I'll check. I'm just gonna check right now because I'm the one that fucking made it. <laughs> More or less. Or I'm like the one that kind of modified it. Well, tune to the hat. Da -da 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 -da. Users AC goes up by two and they gain resistance to non-magical damage. To resist all non-magical damage. Which means you take half. You take half non-magical damage. That's fucked. Wait, so shouldn't I take... So instead of like instead of nine, something. you take four. Yeah. But I thought you round up. Yeah, players, I round down because I'm nice. And okay. I want I don't want you to die so fast. <laughs> don't worry. Four damage is nothing. Seems gonna attack twice. That's Great fine. X. Great X twice. Wait, if you're being nice, why am I taking more damage? Still don't hit him even with advantage. AC is AC is just too high, man. <laughs> and hit, their hit, their two hit bonus is kind of low to be fair. So that's true. Plus five isn't that high for a great for a great X not that high. <laughs> man, my character can wield a great sword. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh-oh. -uh. Everyone's still alive? I think my neck yeah. came out a bit. Alright. Everyone's still here except Carson isn't. Every, literally definitely. every single person missed. <laughs> they all missed him. And he's prone on the floor. And they all missed him. <laughs> Not like they missed, they just kind of... The attacks bounced off his very circular armor. His very rotund armor. The attacks just bounced off of it. Hmm. So the bandits are kind of astonished that literally nothing happened. <laughs> Rika, it's your turn. Okay. There's a guy right in front of your face. Hmm. Well, I might as well attack him, right? Yeah, I might as well attack him. So, attack then him. so be it. Yeah. 22? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy's wearing chain mail, so. 16 and above. 9 damage. Okay. Not dead? He was not, he was not hit before, so, no. 13 hit, I'm guessing no, that. 16 and above. Mm. Alright. Um, and then I guess... Actually, I'm not gonna step back. I'm just gonna let him come at me. Brand is I'll going stay to, in my ground. Brand is gonna just bonk this guy in the back. Blacking bonus. I'm not really, it doesn't get blacking, it's Secret's prone. Alright, I'm back. They all attack Secret, and out of five attacks, every single one of them missed. Yeah, just... What do you want, buddy? Even if they had an advantage, which is fucking insane. Yeah, if they had insane. advantage, that's, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, buddy? What? Oh, so wait, you're telling me there's just five motherfuckers that are trying to hit Sigurd and there was, all of their there attacks There was three of them. There bouncing. was three of them and all five of their attacks just bounced off his armor. They bounced off his rotund armor. <laughs> pretty much, that's pretty much what happened. As you looked, the guy with the sword just kind of hits his armor and it kind of just like falls off the side. His armor is just too masterfully crafted. Brand's gonna fucking delete this guy. I rolled a 10 again on the radiant damage. Mm -hmm. He's not dead. Oh. Attack him again. That actually doesn't hit. 
Okay. <laughs> Baron is gonna just stand his ground. Alright, Alex is in charge. <laughs> the guy in front of you is looking like he's on death's door. <laughs> and the captain's not looking too hot. <laughs> Carson, turn. Whoa! Oh, my bad. That's alright. Mm -hmm. These all three of them are looking kind of hurt. They're all. Boof. They're all. Boof! This guy's gonna die. If you hit him, he's gonna die. Got a natural twenty. And he's fucking dead. <laughs> if you roll I... a two or higher, he's dead. Come man, is, Yo, my man damage. is four HP. He got, he got split in half. I rolled max damage. <laughs> max damage on a crit. Fucking dude. <laughs> Yeah. How much damage is that? Plus <laughs> plus six, four, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight fire damage. He's gonna fucking incinerate. As he gets ready to hit Seagrot again, <laughs> you just pull up your Morning Star and you just swing it at him. He looks at you, and the Morning Star hits him. His entire body just dissolves into into to dust on the floor. <laughs> his entire body just catches on fire, and he just he just melts onto the floor. <laughs> Just a pile of a pile of bones and dust. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of look down at my weapon and go, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the other guy. All right, the captain. All right, the big yeah, guy. Attack. The the, attack guy. the the bigger guy. Janet, so I'm gonna be honest. I rolled again. Mm, Want you again? Yep. All right. There's a reason. There's a reason I use this dice for mm -hmm. attacks. I'm gonna stop cheating, dude. Come on. <laughs> Okay, I shit you not, I actually am rolling these dice, okay? I I, know, I can hear it. Like, I can hear I the actually dice. am rolling these dice. Alright, well, 16 plus... No. 14. Fourteen. Four, yeah, Square. 14. Four, yeah, 14 plus 14. Does it kill him? Let me check. Mm -hmm. I want to start with 1d20 damage. Yes, it does. It kills I him just again. Wiped out two you just... You just... <laughs> You just disintegrated both of their bodies. <laughs> Roll an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> oh shit! Wait. You just burned two I... of their. You just burned the bodies of two Wait, of their no, companions. This isn't, my, this isn't my dice. This isn't my attack roll. That's no, two. No, not the lucky that's dice. Five. <laughs> you got a five and intimidation. <laughs> no, well, five plus seven, so thir twelve. Okay. I literally fucking boosh. Gone. Boosh. Gone. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Every time you hit them, they just disintegrate in the piles of ash. <laughs> Bro, we really we really got the whole ass D&D party right here. We've got the DM. We've got the player. The guy that is the other player. Sigurd gets back up. Sigurd gets back up. Shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, <laughs> readies himself again. Alright. Cool with your face. No, he's dead. Mm -hmm. it's, your, you it's your turn. Pull? It's your turn. It's your turn, sorcerer boy. Mag what? Magic man. Mm. I like oh, your God. funny words, magic man. <laughs> Who's still alive? The two. There's three guys. <laughs> three? There's Fuck. three of them. I know. Fuck this guy. Fuck, fuck this guy. This guy's hurt, man. He took, he Fireball took some that bitch. Fireball that bitch rolled that rolled a hit. Unless I'm gonna do it for you. Uh, I can do it. Why am I hitting gaming? Let's go. Wait. That's no. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> I'll just do it for you. Well, that's my damage. I know that's your damage. My advance. <laughs> plus seven bonus to hit, right? Let me check right now. Yeah, 19. 14? 14 does not hit, no. <laughs> not this guy. Yeah, Firebolt just whizzes past him. Cringe. Alright, now it's your turn. Unless you want to move. That's your turn. I don't give a shit. Alright, fine. Jeez. Tired. Go to sleep. <laughs> All right.
you don't want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um. Alright. That's a crit on the crossbow guy. Okay. Poor brand. Attack. Jesus, how do they all fucking miss, dude? I'm rolling like actual ass burgers for these fucking and for the actual enemies. <laughs> like actual like fucking terrible damage for the for the enemies. We're just fucking rolling through these ass. Oh, I haven't used I've literally only rolled attacks. I've not used a spell or divine. I have not used any limited resource yet. I haven't either. Wait, you're a fighter. I I, I still have action surge and shit and <laughs> other stuff. Can yeah, maybe use the spell? Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 I've he's, used cool. he's a couple. Well, like non cantrips. You no, know, he's he uses actual spells. Yeah, he uses a couple spells. I've used four spell slots. Brand's at half health. <laughs> Out of... 12. Brand is looking... Bloody. That's not good. Yeah, you're right, it's not. <laughs> it's not good at all. Erka, it's your turn. You watch this brand takes an arrow to like the side of like this like his arm. It kinda hurts. <laughs> and he rips out and throws it on the floor. He doesn't look very hot. Brand doesn't? No, he's a half health. He's looking bloodied. Mm -hmm. they I keep have to attack the guy in front <laughs> of me. I'm gonna keep attacking the guy in front of me. They keep attacking keep attacking him and over again. <laughs> we didn't see that. We didn't see that at all. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, that 20. Look at that. How many crits are we going to roll today? How many crits are you guys going to roll? How many, am I, am I, how many am I not going to roll? Why well, is not going to roll a single crit in the boss fight, though? I was gonna say, we're going to get fucked up by this boss. I'm going to have to like, roll so fucking well on the boss, I'm going to kill everyone. I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad if I fucking do that. 13. So deal 26, 26 damage. damage. Bop, he's gone. <laughs> You're just, you see, you see Brand getting hurt. You say, "Get out of my way!" You just smack him with your helmet. He just flies across the ground and dies. <laughs> like, Get out of my way! Um, you can move. I can't do anything else. You can move. So... You can move. I'll rush to Brand's side, and, but I can't. Can't really help him. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's his, it's his turn. Oh. It's his turn, he's gonna fucking bitch show this guy in front of him. Mm. Attack this guy? That's, yeah. Mm. That's a, that's a, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> and then he goes, he goes here. Brand's kind of upset now. Why is Brand upset? Because he took a lot of damage. <laughs> so I... And that's a, he fucking one shot him. I'll go put 20 points of lay on hands on him. Alright. Is that combat? The combat's over? Combat's over. This combat is over. Alright, how many weapons are in this fucking room? I want to get that. Say, Quite a can bit. Can I check these boxes? Can I check these boxes? These weapon crate. All the boxes? You open every single one of them? They're filled to the brim with weapons. All of them. <laughs> I'll look at Rika. Ranging from It'll long, be. ranging from short swords to long swords, ranging from swords to daggers to axes to bows, <laughs> rapiers, la lances. There's tons of weapons here. <laughs> this could be a good armory for Haven. We can arm the people with this. Could. Let's continue. How did you guys continue? You see a door ahead of you, and to your left, you see a lot of cobwebs. Like, a lot of cobwebs. And there appears to be some... Idea. There appears to be some cobweb of five remains. Can I, I like, burn I, them? I was going to say, can I firebolt? Sure. Big can you Wait, firebolt? Is that, a, firebolt? is that a spell? Firebolt does not set things on fire. fire I bolt? believe it does, fire, actually. Fire, firebolt? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, I think firebolt does. 
Okay. I've used it to light shit on fire, fire before. Bolt. Oh, it does. Yes, you're right. It absolutely does. Wait, Cam, is that a spell slot or a cantrip? It's fire, a cantrip. Fire bolt is okay. a cantrip. Fireball is a spell a, slot. If it was a spell slot, then... Um, I was gonna say, let me try to light it on fire with my weapon. I'm gonna de-ignite my weapon. Alright. Can I... I should ignite it in case there's spiders or something in there. See, Sigurd, yeah, Sigurd well, walks in. What are you guys looking at? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> can I roll perception? Is there anything in this, like, main area where, like, there's the little amounts of cobwebs? You... Roll perception check. For me. What is my bonus? Your bonus is whatever your wisdom bonus with plus proficiency. If you have proficiency in it, it is uh, four. What? Plus four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. Fuck. Man, fuck roll 20 and those shit ass fucking rolls. I'm just gonna light everything on fire. I'm just gonna light fuck. everything on fire? Everything? Every, everything on fire. Cobwebs. All the cobwebs. Alright. As you walk in, you hate spiders. Just firebolt everything. Fuck spiders. Fuck spiders, bro. I fuck like them. Spiders. Secret walks in. You hear you Secret, hear no. you hear shrieking in the roof above. <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> See Secret Secret turn Secret turns around. What was that guys? I didn't hear anything. Terrifying. What was that? Is it on fire at least? It's not on fire, but the entire cover. I'm, I'm like shaky pointed Sigurd. Huh? Um. Huh? Um. Um. Oh, I think I think we're all just like. And a lot of sparks come up from the ceiling too. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this freak me out so much? Sigurd like, since Sigurd like, he like, he like, let's see you guys. What are you guys pointing at? <laughs> How many little spiders? He turns around. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he like fucking rolls back. <laughs> yeah. he, he jumps back, but it was too late. The spider shoots his web at him. Oh, his web. Oh, if I crit, oh, I am using a, a second spider. level divine smite on this fucker so fast. <laughs> Hold on. Do we need to roll initiative? This is a surprise attack on Sigurd, because <laughs> he didn't notice the Jarvis Putter drop from the ceiling. Because <laughs> he was facing the other way! <laughs> I'm just getting, I'm just getting the two-hit bonus, alright. <laughs> Youch. Youch. <laughs> well, one of them hits. <laughs> How many little spiders? Just the three? Five of them. Five little spiders oh. and one big spider. Um, oh, is there Sigurd one takes here? I've only got one eye. Is there one here? There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. 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 And here. Okay. Let's see where it They're takes seven points, seven points of piercing damage. That was his first time getting hit. <laughs> That was his first time getting hit. <laughs> and a new effect occurs. Let me just get it on the adventurer's compendium here. Is it acid damage? It's not acid damage. Damage. Okay. Constitution saving throw. How big is the big spider? The big spider, 15 feet. 15? Fuck. Fuck, yes. <laughs> Fuck, indeed. So what you're saying is that it's got little tiny legs. Yeah. 
Ouch. Alright. You... When the spider webs up Sigurd, you see it bite into him. Obviously, his armor is too thick, the bites don't actually do anything, but you think you see some sort of poison seeping into the armor. You are, un you are unsure what it does. It is now time to roll initiative. Actually, we'll just keep the same initiative. No, can we roll initiative again? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to go first. Alright, yeah, roll initiative again. Can we keep the same initiative order? <laughs> Jesus I Christ. agree. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like that idea. Okay. All who say I keep the same initiative order? I. I. My hands up. 18. I think they- I think the spider still goes first. <laughs> my 18- <laughs> my 18 charisma seeping into real life I see. <laughs> what did I roll on my last initiative? You rolled action dog shit. You were last on the field. <laughs> I thought I went first last time. You went last last time. <laughs> no, wait, what? I had the order up. Yeah, the order is in the chat. Well, has it been that long? Did I fall asleep again? Probably. <laughs> yeah, nine. Wait, where'd I go? Anyway, it's a spider's turn. Because it fucking rolled high initiative. Fuck. Oh, too tired. I was just gonna beat the shit out of fucking onion. Sea worry. <sighs> Damn it. I don't know where I was, I can't remember. Oh my god. <laughs> You're right, it's gonna be the show to Sigurd. You're absolutely correct. Oh my god. What? You are absolutely correct. Oh my fucking god. Dude, it just rolled the maximum damage possible. Oh my god. And that's, it, rolled. it rolled. So it rolled in that 20, and then, then we proceeded to roll 2d8s. So we're so dealing a, a whopping 42 damage in oh, one shit. attack. Oh, that fucked. I hope Seagward's not a tiny little guy in there. 42 damage. <laughs> Seagward looks hella hurt. <laughs> oh no. As if his oh, armor shit. protection did nothing. He has poison too now. He could die. Seagward, you feel... You see the bite did a lot of damage, but Seagward just doesn't seem to care. Almost, almost, almost as if he's like Caroline. numb to the pain. Almost, almost like he's numb from paralyzed. He's probably not able to move. He's probably paralyzed. Giant spider venom. Now the real question is: Do we take the chance, or do I just fireball it? And maybe oh, end it's it here. All the other spiders' turns. So they're gonna. I'm thinking we might want to send a. We, this might be a good one for that staff, you know? Yeah, you might want to use, like, a high level. But I'm not wasting an 8th level fireball. You gotta use it eventually. <laughs> and they're yeah, all, they're all literally, all, all of them are literally attacking him, so. This every is a very useful time. Every single one of them, every single one of them is attacking him, so. I would say this is a good time to use an 8th level fireball. But every, that again, it's up to you. Every single one of them is attacking him. <laughs> We might be able to manage. Man, an 8th level fireball is a lot of fucking damage, Carson. That's a very useful thing to have later. I am very I'm aware. Not one of them hit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank god. No. Not, not a single one hits, because they, they have a plus one to hit, and they either roll 20. <laughs> so. What is sunburst? Sunburst. Switch it up. <sighs> I don't know, motherfucker. Abigail has it, not me. Yeah, then search it up if you want to know what it does. What level is sunburst? Actually, you're not, even, you're, not even, you're not even supposed to know what it does, so just don't bother. Anyway, that's Spider's turn. It is now Rika's turn. <laughs> Sigurd is kind of surrounded by gross-ass spiders. I'm allowed to know the spell, though. Uh, can I get through, or is the way blocked? You can get through to Sigurd, but you'd have to... The spiders are kind of tiny. So, I'd just probably just walk over them. 
I don't want to stick. <laughs> I was asking if I was blocking my allies in the hall. Allies in the hall? I'll standing. just walk around them. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm a. Might attack the big one. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna step over here and attack the big one. This might be fucking me over, but I gotta save Seagward. Oh, I put the status effect on him now. Just don't worry, don't worry about, don't worry about that one though. Evocations, bro. I have another that one. You were attacking the big spider, yes, that doesn't hit, obviously. But <laughs> oh my, oh gosh. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh man, I took all of your luck on rolling that spider's damage. Wait, and what he, happened? He rolled two, I rolled two net ones two to one hit. In a row. In a row. <laughs> Give me my damn turn. What's the initiative order, by the way? It's in the chat. It's in Discord. I see. We're it's Brand's my... turn. Brand, you should fucking heal. Seagward. Carson, I might last. Yes, he's gonna do that. He's yeah. going to cast. Fuck. He's going to cast. You can try your new fourth yeah. level spell inspires if you want. You probably have shitty wisdom. You're gonna ask Abigo to use sunburst on your turn? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Am I able to sculpt that spell, technically, or no? Holy no. shit, nope. I just looked up what the spell does. Nope. Mm -hmm. Fuck, maybe I shouldn't. You can't sunburst... Or you can't uh, sculpt the spell because it's not your spell. It's hers. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use that. Because that's an 8th level evocation spell. That could kill Sigurd. And I can't prevent him from... 12d6 radiant damage. <laughs> Yeah, that'll, probably, that'll it. probably kill him. <laughs> it, de it depends on what you roll. It might kill him, depending on what you roll. Because he still exactly. has like, still has, like a good chunk of health left. No, fuck that. I'm not doing that. You, you can't sculpt any of her spells because they're not yours. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah that that's why I'm just gonna use That just wouldn't make sense. So, what were they doing? What were they doing? Brand is moving. That's right. Brand is going to eat this over here. He's going to give Seekward the lay on hands of. He's going to give Seekward 40, <gasps> point, 40 points of lay on hands. Holy shit. 40 points. 40 points? 40 points. If he's around the same level as us, that's all of his lay on hands. Well, Seekward's fucking went from 90 to 45 in one turn. <laughs> Uh, 94 to 45 in one turn. What level is Seagward? Jesus Christ. Well, it's 40 points of HP. Yep, there it is. That was Lay on Hands requires an action, I believe. Yes. Yeah. That's his turn. Okay. That's his turn. Okay. Alex, it's your turn. There's a lot of spiders. Seagward's in a bit of a, of a catastrophe right now. <laughs> <sighs> I just see you see us all with the spiders now. Fuck! Can I not get to it? Yeah, I can. From there, okay. you can, yeah. Okay. What? I'm going right here. I'm gonna make an attack on the big guy. All right. Eighteen plus nine. Yes. Fifteen plus nine. Yes. Thinking about Radiant Smite <laughs> or Divine Smite. Yeah. I was thinking about doing that instead of healing Secret, but I was like, yeah, Secret's kind of like relatively important. 18. Somewhat. If I roll a crit, I'm using a second level Divine Smite without hesitation. 18, okay. Uh... Alright. This was fire damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get a second attack unless you missed. That. The, the, or was that, was that both? All right. Uh, yeah, that was all my armor. Secret's turn. Oh yeah, I started putting the status effects on the actual characters. In case you didn't realize. 
So just, we're not going to talk about what that status effect is. Uh, I'm still pissed I rolled two mat ones in a row. Well, Secret just fucking missed one attack. No, he hit both, I think. Did he? Oh, he missed. Yeah, he missed the second attack. But he hit the 18. Ooh. And that's his turn. Now that you look at him, it's as if Secret doesn't is like numb to the pain. Or is like numb to everything. His weapon his weapon hits are kinda Cut. kinda kinda sloppy. Cut. Cat behind you, cat. Carson missed cat behind you. Alright, it's cool Magic Man, it's your turn. Alright, fourth level fireball. Fourth level fireball. Sculpting it around him. Fourth level fireball, okay. Who's got a phone call? Fuck, what lo well, how much damage does that do then? Well, third is eight, so fourth would be... Nine, I think. Ninety-six. I'm pretty sure fourth is nine. So. Ninety-six plus seven? You don't add the plus seven. What do I add? That's it. It's just ninety-six. What a shit roll. The plus seven's only for, like, to hit bonuses. You don't actually add the plus seven. What a terrible fucking roll. Thirty-six, it's fine. I killed, like, those spiders, so. Yeah, but the other one's unfit. Do I at least set the other one on fire? No. Oh. Because it's... Spid cause spiders it's, are flammable. Because its spider. shell is hard. It's got a shell. What the fuck kind of spider is this? Its carapace is hard. <laughs> they don't have... The spiders don't have a carapace. Mm, this one does. So. It's not a fucking spider, bro. That's a crab. It's definitely not a crab, but okay. That was your turn. It's looking pretty hurt, though. Good, that bitch about to be hurt. Which means yeah. that it is now the spider's turn. Are you mad at me for just fucking throwing ball fire at him? It's just gonna attack you guys, so I want to attack on Sigurd again. Good. I'm back. See, that hit Sigurd. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the perfect 20. Roll 20 non natural. Okay, it hits Sigurd once, and it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit all of you one time. What? Everyone in close proximity at one time. Wait, so not me? So, Rick, uh, 13 doesn't hit you, but a 26 hits Alex. I know that, so. Ooh. Sigurd gets the bite attack. Which oh, is 2d8. Why did Red have anybody else so Almost perfect again. What the hell, man? Wait, did you roll a save throw for the fighter? It succeeded, yeah. So it took half that? Yeah. Fuck. I mean, I rolled it. 20 out of 15. So, like, just ripped at a fucking fourth level spell slot for 13 damage. 36, 14. What? No, 18, 18. 18. That's the one, yeah. I confused too. Whoa. All right, all right, Alex, you take. Does Venom Alex, you take 15 or... points of bludgeoning damage, or slashing damage. Is he 23 AC? Yeah, it got 26. 18 plus 8. Shit. 15? Uh, you take f 15 points of slashing damage. Can I get the house? All the mini guys gone? Yeah, okay, fireball double, they got fucking burned to a crisp. Fuck shit.
That's the spider's turn. Rika, it's your turn. I'm gonna redeem myself this time. I'm gonna attack it again. The spider's pretty bloody, so. Please. 17. Mm, yes. It's 24. Yeah, obviously, but. 2d10 plus 12. Oh, yeah, baby. 19 mm -hmm. damage. Well, most of your damage came from the actual plus 12 bonus afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we got all the three and a four. Yeah. 19 damage. It's looking pretty bloody. But not, not enough. Is it going to retreat? Not enough is to it knock a, it down. It pussy? Nope. You burned down its den. What the fuck is it going to retreat to? <laughs> it's pissed. Oh, it's to the death then, Mr. Spider. It's Bran's turn. Walk up. He's gonna one shot it. He's just gonna blur the rest of his HP. Yes and yes. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. What? 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 Janner, I have a question. What? How long is a short rest have to be? An hour. Dude. Oh, I thought it was four hours. A short rest is an hour. Standard Daniel World is an hour. For me, it's an hour. Long rest is eight hours of non-consecutive activity, non-physical activity. Short rest is an hour of non-physical activity. I want a short rest so I can get some of my spell slots back. Like, can't really do like, that. Right I don't now. think we can chill in here can, for an can, hour. Can't really do that for an hour. <laughs> we can find a safe spot for an hour to relax. Mm. Yeah. He's gonna use a. He's gonna use. Brand is going to use a divine smite at level one. Or at level two, so does three d eight damage. Did I get this right? Weapon plus to hit plus raid damage. But yes, okay, I got everything right. And he does. He fucking one shots it again. Yes, you're right. He actually he did one shot it, but he had to use everything to fucking one shot it. <laughs> Can I? How much health do I have? First off, as the spider, like, s slashes all of you with its with its legs and then bites on the seagward again. You see more of its like venom drip down in the seagward, and Brand just runs up and finishes it off. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. How big is a lesser healing potion vial? A less healing potion is 1d4. I should well, say like, on how, the actual... How, how, how big, big is, is it? it? It's not... Um, it's not very big. Like, is it a little test tube? Pretty much, yeah. Alright, can I, like, extract some of the venom from it? Now that it's dead? You... First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink, drink two lesser healing potions. Alright, so we restore 2d4 HP. It says D. Oh, it's no, one D four HP for a lesser potion of healing. Uh, one D four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Congratulations! You regenerate three HP. 4 HP, I drank 2. Oh, nice. So now you have two empty test tubes and- or two empty potion vials. And yep. uh, you're gonna fill it up your, with the fill liquid. Fill it up with spider venom. With spider venom, okay. You now have spider's venom. Two of them. Hmm. Should roll a nature check? Because the spider's kind of dead. Hold up, let me add this first. Let me get rid of two of these. I'll get rid of them, just rename them something else or something. Well, I'm getting rid of two out of the three I've got, and I'm gonna add a few you know, Oh, let me sit out here, because I'm uncomfortable. <sighs> What's my nature stat? 
pretty sure it's high. No one's plus four. Cringe. Anyone else want to do anything to the giant spider's corpse, or? I'm going to take its leg. Oh my You're going to take his leg? God, no. dude. I'm sick and tired of roll 20 and the shit fucking rolls I always get. Mm, you extract one vial of spider's venom. Just one. Okay. The venom seems to have run out before you got to the second tube. Uh, I'm gonna try something. D20 plus 4. See? It's almost better. You get a 22, yeah. But like, I kinda don't really wanna tab out every single time you roll, so. What the fuck is that? Anyway. <laughs> As you guys are contemplating what to do next, relaxing a bit, you see Sigurd suddenly just like collapses on the floor. Uh, yeah, can someone heal him, please? He did get healed. Probably just needs to rest with the fucking stuff in his system. Sigurd, are you okay? You see him kind of like, he, you see, he appears to be like, he's like feeling his armor and his weapon. It was so strange. When that spider bit me, I felt numb to everything. That's, that's no good. Are you feeling better now? Yes, I am feeling a little better now. Are you in fighting shape or do you want us to leave you behind? Nonsense, I can fight. Okay. So, Janner, what is this birthright we've got in here? We don't talk about that because Adam's not finished. <sighs> what it, like, what is it supposed to be? Mm, it's stuff. Like, is it a scroll? What is it's, it? It's an artifact. Well, like, describe, like, the shape. I can't. It's a scroll. <laughs> Okay. It's a scroll with like a lock on it, so you can't really even look at it. I'm so tired. Of it. All right. Are you slain the giant spider? Sigurd takes his time. He's gonna fucking perform a nature check to see if he can get some of this stuff. At least the stuff he can get. His nature's plus zero. <laughs> I swear to God, if he succeeds. He looks at you, Rika. Come, come. I think I could use your help with something. You you lived in forest, yes? I, I have, yes. Could you come help me with this? I'll help you with what? He points at the spider. I want some of that. <laughs> I stare at him, just kind of confused. He's just gonna create like alcohol out of spider venom. Hmm. He, he puts his hand to his, to his chin. Hmm. I guess I didn't describe it very good. I want to get its resources. Yes. Oh. Uh, you mean its venom? No, you already took that. Uh, I, have, I have no. I have no need for that. I want. I've never harvested from a, the corpse of a giant dead spider. It's easy. I just need to. I just need your help because my. Armor is not very well suited for it. What do you want to do? Rip a leg off or something? Well, its eyes. Sell for, Sorry about that. Its eyes can sell for a lot of money. A lot of moolah. <laughs> I can kill it. You. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, fucking dead. branded like 35 damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He also used the Radiant Spite at second level. Or the second level spell slot, Divine Smite. <laughs> you don't have to kill it, but yeah. So now Sigurd right. is discussing on what parts to take from the spider. <laughs> well, I whip out my short sword then. I'm gonna look down here. Is there a doorway down here? There Ooh. you see through the cobwebs, and there appears to be a doorway at the end, yes. But you gotta cut through all the cobwebs. Or just I was gonna say, I'm down. gonna take my burn ignited cobwebs. fire star, and I'm, I'm gonna burn the cobwebs, yeah. Mm, you can burn them all. And it reveals a path leading all the way up to the door. You see yet another door. 
I'm while they're doing this. that, can I try to open? While they're, while they're looting the spider, can I try to open it? Sure. You go up to the door and you put both hands on it and you push. And it makes this loud grinding sound as the stone is being pushed against stone, but the door does open. Can I look inside? It's very dark. It is. Can I light a torch and throw it? Right, it'll be dark. <laughs> <laughs> you light a torch. I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna light a torch. Throw it you in. You throw it in, and it you throw it about 15 feet away, so you can still see. You see what appears to be a see a room to the right. It appears to be an iron gate, and past that, you're not. You see maybe another hallway, but you're not sure about that. I'm gonna look back. Guys, we got another pathway down here. One moment. I'm gonna yell. As one I'm one moment, my friend. Card. And then using my short sword to ra wrench out little mm -hmm. spider eyes. So you're helping Secret make assisting Secret on the nature check. And one of those six vote times. <laughs> on the spider on the spider eyes. As you notice that Secret's armor is kind of too clunky to properly grab anything, he just grabs it and crushes it. Oh. Buddy. <laughs> This is why I told you you should have done it. I would have given you pointers. I know how to do it, you see? It's just my armor is too too well protected. To I'll grab. carry the rest of them as I take the other seven spider eyes. Yeah. Put it in my bag yeah, with you, my... You properly cut them out. Mm. Now you have seven spider eyes in your bag. That apparently, according to Sigurd, can sell for a lot of money. To the right person. That is... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Goodbye. Where are you going? Um, to Eliza's, but, um, I'm not sure of anyone. Are you okay? <laughs> Yo, she is yeah. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to shoot you down there. Okay, what does that have to do with, are you okay? I just had a glass of wine and I just feel... Come on, man. Hi, babies. You so you weak as hell. Did you say a glass of wine in that date? You are a white weight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm be so sorry. Family is. Yeah, I'm gonna be so sorry. Bye, Bye, Grace. Anyways, adding spider eyes to my inventory. Yeah, you added seven spider eyes. Had a glass of wine, and she's acting like that. Oh, she is fucked up, bro. Oh, <laughs> she a, a glass of wine. A glass Wait. of wine. A singular glass of wine. The lowest alcohol percentage of alcohol. I'm only... gonna put it in my bag pack. No, my explorer's pack. Yeah, your your. How much do they weigh each? Yeah, how much do they weigh each? Like a pound. <laughs> the eyes One are. Pound each. Yeah, the <laughs> eyes are pretty big compared to the body. The eyes have been. The eyes are big compared to the size of the body that you got it from. That's all. Is there a pound each? Yeah. What's their value each? Gold pieces. According to the secret, at least, who may or may not be a trusted information source, a trusted source of information, it is apparently fifty gold each. Okay. Apparently, according to him. Do you think the fangs would be any value? Extracting the venom? Chip Core already did that. Then he got one one vial of venom because the other one ran out. <laughs> I see. Do you think people can make their weapons or keep their fangs as novelty items? Sell those too? Hmm. That'd be cool to make a, like a, a magic weapon that's a spider fang or if you stab somebody with it, you can poison it poisons them. them. Paralyzes them. Oh, that'd be fucking dope. That'd be mm. sick as fuck. Mm. That's Where actually so fucking cool. I'm gonna do that. I, I'm, can I go harvest a spider fang? Well, thanks for the idea, guys. guys. Like... We already yeah, sure. have fertilizing roll, deck. Roll a nature a... check. Fuck. Yeah. I really want to do good on this because I really want that weapon now. Because that's like the perfect like. As 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 you go like a, as like you a go harvest meeting. Yeah. Dude, who's gonna make it? As you go harvest, you begin begin harvesting. Seaward plops on next to you. I'll help you with this, my friend. I can tell you exactly how to get to it. So you get advantage. 
on nature text. Okay. <laughs> Just listen to me, and you will get the thing you were looking for. What are you looking for? Seventeen minus seventeen minus one. I I'm, I'll tell him I'm looking to extract a spider fang. A fang. Hmm. Yes, you see, if you he reaches into his bag, and pulls out this little tiny dagger, almost like a letter opener. He gives it to you. You you grab this, and then he he stands up, takes both his hands, lifts up the entire jaw for you, <laughs> and he points right there. The big he points at the biggest fang you can see. That's not destroyed or broken from crunching on Secret's armor. That one right there, and you you cut right there. And as you, I got a seventeen minus one. As you slowly cut the spider fang out, a lot of blood gushes out. Getting in your way, you can just scrape it off. Ew. Secret secret says ew. It smells. <laughs> the body's already starting to decay, so you have to move fast. Yeah. Do I extract it successfully? You extract the spider fang successfully. And you, you think you have time? To, you think you have time to extract more? But you were unsure. You have to roll another check. I'll try. Can I do it with advantage? Yes, Secret's still assisting you. Yes. Ten. Eleven minus one. In the time frame before Secret is like, oh, I can't do this anymore. You gotta move. And he like, he just drops the when he drops the heal out. <laughs> the thing is heavy. Okay. You get a. You, you get four smaller spider fangs and one like. How many fangs does one spider have? Holy shit! Heck, wait, so how many like? You get four okay, like wait. small fangs, one big fang, and one broken fang. Mm -hmm. Hold on, large spider fang. Small. Spider, fang, quantity, four. Four, yeah. And one broken one, which you can maybe sell to someone if they really cared. Broken spider, fang. Okay. Is there a way to put shit in a backpack? Yes. You have to make, yeah. a, make a new container. So when you're clicking the when you're hold, when you have the item window open and you're customizing it, you can see container and then a drop down button. Oh. You can add containers oh. that way. It's like coin pouch or backpack or bag of oh. holding, so on. Oh 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 oh. Weight value. Um. Also, boys, by the way, where are we keeping the 3,000 gold pieces we found? Oh, I just, I thought you just left it back at Haven, to be fair. Yeah, yeah I know it's at Haven, but, like, where are they? Probably, we probably just asked the barkeep to keep it safe. Yeah, he just, he just left it in a storm under the tavern. The one that didn't get attacked, so it's just, you just have 3,000 gold coins just sitting in a cellar. A small fortune. <laughs> From here, pretty much have a small compared to the town. You have a small fortune sitting in that cellar. <laughs> we can buy half the town. You can pretty much buy the we whole town. Buy you can the town. buy yeah. the town with that amount of money. What they say it's in, yeah. Probably. All right, let's continue moving. I want to. I want to keep moving down this way. All right. It's probably a secret way with good shit on it. Down it. As you go through. You reach a very dark room. Your torch is still there, on the ground. I was gonna say, I'm gonna pick up my torch. It is dark. It is very, very dark. I have dark vision. What do I see? Let me get this. Get this shit real quick. Let me also like adjust the map real quick because it's a different map now. Did Cam fall asleep? Probably. Cam. Yeah, he did. We should probably get it there we soon. go. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if we should do the boss fight in this session, or go on much further. It's fog of war here. Oh no. It is very very dark. This is what you see. There is an iron gate down here. You can't see that far into it, but you just see a hallway. And you see a hallway over here. This seems like a bonus section. That might have some loot behind it. I'm gonna walk, uh, I'll walk this way. 
as you walk that way, holding your torch. To your left is to your left is another gate, but there appears to be some rubble behind it, so you can't go through it. And as you walk in the room, nice. As you turn the corner, you see some inanimate statues of armor. Don't fuck with those; they will definitely attack you. You see on an altar appears to be a lever. Uh oh. Uh oh. I feel like we just don't touch those. Pull the lever. Bonk. 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 I have a feel. Bonk. Bonk. I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen when we pull this lever. Bonk. Bonk. What did you guys find? Did Did it look like there was any way to open the iron gate door? The one in the hallway here. Possibly this one. Not from the actual gate. Not from where. Everyone else's. So I'm guessing the lever opens the gate, but we attack the ma- the machines. I, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. I'll walk up. I'm gonna pull the lever. This is a trap. This is gonna I stand in the middle of the room, keeping a very close eye on the statues. Roll a perception check, Rika, because you're the one checking out statues. <laughs> Alex, I need you to make a strength check. This lever is really old. <laughs> 16. Fuck me. Listen, this is my checks. See, we're just like back here, like looking at you guys. What are you guys doing? Being suspicious. You guys 16. 17 plus 4, 21. Mm. Cam just moaning in the background. I feel like if once we finish this se- section, we should probably be done. This seems like a Yeah, I agree. Section. Jenner, I got a 21. Mm-hmm. As you pull the lever, it is incredibly rusty and very, very loud. <laughs> As I'm pulling, I'm just like, oh, that's nice. As you pull it, you it feels like an eternity, but it's really only a couple of seconds. But in, in eternity, you have just the scream. You pull it all the way. <laughs> And it just echoes through the halls. And then you hear... Appear, what do you hear? appears to be a gate lifting. I'll walk back. You walk back, looking at the armor. It doesn't appear to move. I got a 16, do I not? They didn't appear to move. So I missed... I didn't see anything? Look away, as like the... Far, as, far, as far as you're aware, they didn't appear to move. Don't look at them. Turn away. See what happens. I, I swear to God, if they're weeping angel, I lose my shit. That'd be so funny. Oh, <laughs> see, see, we're just kind of like standing there. What are you guys so afraid of? It's just some armor. Just knock them over. Just attack them. Who cares? Yeah, this iron gate here is just as you guys are like looking in the hallway, like ever so cautious. <laughs> you guys are walking out of the hallway. <laughs> And see where it's standing there. What are you guys looking at? It's just armor. And he turns around. You turn on look at him. And right behind him is suit of armor. Yeah. Oh okay, so let's just kill it. Let's just kill yeah, it. Yeah, can we just know. like stun lock these fuckers? Why don't, why don't we just stun lock them? And just beat them to rubble. Alright. Since they can't move. Alright. <laughs> you. See where it kind of like turns around? I think the armor class is like 22, though. Secret like turns around. Whoa. Well, I mean, it doesn't <laughs> matter if they can't move. We can literally just keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them and hitting them until they're double until they're dust. Yeah, as, <sighs> as Secret Secret turns around, he goes, "Whoa, what did those get here? Did you guys yeah. put them there?" No, we did not. Let's let's turn these to dust. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm gonna just start. I'm I'm gonna hit one of them. You just gotta hit one of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it, does anything happen when I hit it. When you hit it, it's, the armor just clatters on the floor. It just oh, falls God, apart. Just, it just falls apart. Oh, I'm just gonna God. keep hitting it. I'm just gonna keep hitting it. Just smash the armor to dust. <laughs> I'm, I'm smashing the statue. Yeah. You're smashing this, uh, the armor. A piece of armor just shatter on the floor. I'm gonna hit. I it. think we should have someone whose job it is sit here. 
Oh, he moved the rest of this dungeon. What is this? I swear altered? to God, if there's gonna be like a million little pieces, million little speckles of dust that follow us now. <laughs> it's like the snail. It's the snail. Can Don't I crush let... both of them to dust? Don't let the snail you crush catch both, you. You're you crush dead. both of them to dust. And they're now just like piles of of armored dust and pieces rusted on metal. And rusted metal and pieces on the floor. We will forever be I'm immortal. Walk back to the door. And so you walk back to the door. You turn around. Nothing happened. Walk around. Turn around. Nothing happened. Is the door open? The door is open. We'll walk down. As I want to know as what as book you that walk is. Down, as you walk down, you see a lot of tombs on the left and right side, and what appears to be a statue in the back. Did anybody see what book that was on that altar? Yeah, that wasn't it a book. Appears man, to be, it appears to be a hallway. It, a hallway. it looks like a book on the map, but it was whatever. Fringe. I'm gonna I'm gonna move through the room. We'll probably do a little bit of tomb raiding later. No, we're not raiding tombs. The paladin is not raiding tombs. So fucking what? I don't have a moral code not to raid dungeon. Or... I don't have a moral code for that. My code is to protect the people. Hmm. Well, there are people in those tombs. You, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear a familiar hmm. behind you. <laughs> Seward's just kind of standing there, inspecting the statue. Hmm. Uh, like, what's up? I like it. Can we kick it? Carson doesn't like that. That looks a, a little guy. big. <laughs> as a paladin, but now wants to tomb raid as a paladin. Bro, you you're carry, acting you like keep. I'm a lawful good. Like, you're acting like you're acting like I'm a fucking goody two shoes paladin. I'm not. <laughs> it's not. My <laughs> my <laughs> oath is to protect the people. It's not. Right. My, my oath is to protect others. If I look into a tomb, it's not gonna break my oath. Perhaps, perhaps we can come back and get it later. I do like it though, we should take it with us. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. If you can carry it, it's yours. <laughs> you make your way down the hallway, the path suddenly ends and you see a large drop 20 feet down into what appears to be a big cavern. Is there something I could tie my, my rope onto? Tie it to the wall, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'll tie it. I'll tie it to the wall. I'll tie well, it to, I'll just to, tie it to whatever I so can. So one, one of the pieces, <laughs> one of the pieces of the broken wall, at least. Mm. Yeah, just anything that's stable. Huh. Interesting cavern. You, gonna, like, you tie, you tie your rope. You rappel down. And you look around, you see a large entranceway, and it appears to be light, and you think you hear water coming from this direction here. And But you look to your left, and you see large caverns, but it goes up into darkness. Over here. Probably Damn, don't you have a light cantrip? Dancing lights. Yeah. Are you able to cast that and see, if there, see what's up here? Yeah, I can cast it up to 150 feet away, I think. I was going to say, poor Brand. <laughs> I, I, I got him. <laughs> yeah, Seagrid's behind you. He looks down. Oh, my, that's a mighty drop. He just jumps down. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> Brand repels down. He's, he's not He's not like a Chad like Seagrid. <laughs> Is there... So, if Cam casts Dancing Light, do we see anything? You cast Dancing like, Light and you send it up towards that area and you see you th see what appears to be like another ruin another another entrance up there some something up there oh ooh i have a potion of climbing oh i'm going to go i'm going to use that and I'm climb up mm -hmm. can i use that i'm i'm going to use that and climb up all right so i'm just I also have this. a potion of climbing but i don't know if i want to use use more than one at once let let me just use it and see what happens as you climb up, you realize that this was like 70 feet high. <laughs> this one's <was> pretty high. <laughs> I'm gonna look down. Don't oh, fall. Damn. So you look down and see <laughs> like, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'll wait hello. back at him. Hi! 
Sigurd's the only one you can what's see. Here? So I want to see what's in huge. here. Let's see you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold out my torch. And you hold out your what torch, and you see, you see, you see this. You see another tomb. You see another tomb. As you walk in the room. I assume there's enemies you're supposed to fight through to the right to get there. <laughs> your face is like, do do I, you your face is like, do I want to do this? Do I do this? Do I do this? <laughs> I think I do this. You think you do this? You think you do this. Famous last words. The room seems normal, as far as you're aware. Can I pick up the chest? Do you want to pick up the chest? Yeah, I think he wants to throw it down to us. I doubt there's no Roll a strength check. Four. You're picking up a chest with an unknown amount of loot inside. <laughs> That's karma. That was, um, that was, a, that was a low. It means you didn't pick 11. it up. <laughs> mm. Seven plus four. Not, not the one in front of you. No. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit too heavy. Mm. You know, before I take any chances, can I lift the top off of this tomb? Sure. You lift the top Sorry. off of the tomb and it's empty. Can I repeat that for all of them? <laughs> sure. You lift the top off of the tomb. Some of them have skeletons. Some of them have nothing. This one, though, the one in the back, it appears to be a, a creature clad in armor. It appears to be like a, a, a mummified corpse. Something that's been there for a very long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them all back on. I'm gonna look in the first, in the middle chest. You're gonna look in the middle chest. Opens. Boom. Clad armor, dude. Just walk up to it. Open sesame. It's Why a mimic. Did you just roll a dice. <laughs> it's a mimic. You just got your hand bitten off like the it clown did to little Timmy or whatever his name is. That's a gruesome scene. We are gonna see mimic someday. Just it's a matter of when. It's a really gruesome scene. I don't think these. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think these are mimics. I don't think so either. Yo, do you see that? Like Jenner's camera was in color. He's wearing a blue shirt. Huh? Holy what? shit! What? Oh my god! Oh yeah, my get my galaxy shirt. It's color. It's, no, it's color fun. Look at it. Wait, make your make your screen white. Make your screen straight white. My galaxy turn shirt. Turn your screen back to what? Turn your screen back to whatever it was. It was brighter. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. I don't know. Just like make your monitors white. Huh? <laughs> Like make yeah. the so make the settings, majority dude. color pixels on your monitor white. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Open up Dice Cloud. <laughs> yeah. It's so bright. Yeah, my shirt. Yeah. See the color. My galaxy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to D&D. Yes. Yes, of course. I think you have a weird filter on Janner, and you're just not. You're right. Hot. You're right. That's why I am doing this. It's so weird. Why is the only color we can see blue? Because my shirt is blue. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. You open the chest, and you find only one item inside. No oh, weakling. What is it? You, I mean, you find a couple items inside, at least. You find a couple flowers. It appears to be like mm -hmm. a, a gift for the dead. And you see what know. appears to be... A hollow metal tube with strange markings on it. Can I reach in slowly and pick up the tube? You reach in slowly and pick up the tube. Is it a flute? Nothing seems to happen. I wanna like yank my hand out. I have, do I have it? Yeah, you have it. It's in your head. I'm gonna put it in my backpack. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go to this one. To this one. The All left right. one. Open it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's, oh. he's using a table to get random loot. 
He probably didn't have this planned. <laughs> Person, your hand is gone. A mimic bit it off. It's rolling again. <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? What was in the first chest? I completely missed it. It was like, it a... Was like a, a metal, t a hollow metal tube with strange markings. I assume magical, like, ruins. Yeah, probably. it's probably a magic item. I'd still keep it. Probably like a magical flute or What's something. What is Chatter doing? <laughs> what is Chatter doing? He just rolled what's in his chest and he's like, oh my god, that's a I broken know. item. Did you guys, did you guys see oh, his reaction? Yeah. No, did you re roll it, Jan? Don't tell me you re rolled it. No, I, the number was to re roll. That number was actually to re roll the table. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, don't tell me you do. got something so broken and you just re rolled it. I, please re-roll it if it's a deck of many things. We don't want that. I think that's exactly what we want. No, we don't want that. We already have one. What did I get again? 46? Yeah, yeah, 46. You open, Someone just you, matched with me at Tinder. You open the chest. Me. And inside you... you see what appears to be... <laughs> A vial. That's it. An empty vial? It's a glass vial, and there's a lot of colors swirling inside of it. Aiden, who'd you match? The gay potion! Her name is Christina. Is she cute? Bro, no, it's a gender I mean, swap no, potion. It wasn't what it was, but okay. <laughs> it's a gay potion, it makes you the, gay. The gay potion? It makes All you right, gay. I'll, I'll grab it, and then I'll check the last chest. Potion. You looking at her photos right now? Yeah, she's cute. Let me see. See her? I see her boobs and that's it. <laughs> Keep going. A she little got bit. blue hair. Yeah, she's kind of cute. Like <laughs> God, <Damn>. no! <laughs> <laughs> She's 18, bro. Tinder moment. What the fuck? Why'd you just she, roll 42? She said, she said, hey, cutie. That's a bot. <laughs> Everyone knows no, she don't send first messages. She's, um, she's checkmarked. That means Tinder confirmed it was her. Bro. Everyone knows that women don't message first, okay? No, I have women message me first plenty of times. They're all yeah. fake. You're getting catfish. They definitely do. Janner? He... Oh no. You've just opened a portal to hell. Oh no. It's an amulet of the planes. What did I just get? What is it? Or what just. Or, or, um, otherwise, what just do happened to I, Do I feel any magical disturbances in the area? Sip smug. Is there any strong magical auras in the area? Dude, I still remember that one time in your campaign, Aiden, where I put... <laughs> I think I put like a bag of holding in a bag of holding and created a fucking black hole. No, you put a portal in a bag of holding. There's a yeah. mini portal like this wide. <laughs> yeah, I create a fucking null zone. <laughs> yeah, and uh, almost killed everyone. I remember that. How that, did would you be, that would be that would be one badass way to to like kill a de or like kill a boss. Yeah, except. You and might. Is there a real chance of you dying with them? How am I gonna explain? It doesn't kill you. It just just shoots you out somewhere in the astral plane. How am I gonna explain this? Oh man. 
What did you do? What did you do? Can you, you just do? explain it instead of saying what did you do? You open the chest and there is a card, but it is face down, so you can't see the actual top of the card. Like a playing card? Yeah. See, what appears to be a playing card. Reach in slowly. If it's not the Ace of Spades, I don't want it. flip it over. You flip it over, and you see what appears to be a brightly colored gest gesture, like like the ones you find in courts. A, bri a brightly colored... The card depicts a gnome, and a brightly colored gesture's outfit, and very stylish but green hat. Kind of really odd. Can I pick it up and look at it? That is what you see when you pick up and look at it. It is but a card. Hmm. No, don't turn around, card. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna put that in my bag. As you, always out of your bag. As you try and let go of the card. It does, oh. Your hand is kind of stuck to the card. Like, card yeah, you're, you're shaking your hand, and the card is not coming off your hand. I'm just gonna, like, hold my hand up. Put it oh, on your head. As you're looking at the card, you thought you saw the gnome make a big toothy smile. It's biting your hand or something. Can I, like, bring it closer to my face and look at it? As you look at it, you now I realize that... I will you. Like, man. The gnome in the brightly colored Jester's outfit and very snazzy but colorful hat is indeed having a very big, toothy smile on its face. So it's alive in the card. I'm going to, uh... I need I need you to start I need running. you to make I need you <sighs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Good luck. Fuck you, Aiden, I don't need okay. that. <laughs> Which one do I go for? The Which yellow one? one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Watch me be completely wrong. I'm always Wait, wrong, so... Hands. 15 minus 1, 14. It's not bad. It's not good. The sip isn't a good... God damn it. Not a good sign. The card eats you whole and you die. As you start to run away, the card just falls off your hand. And it's just there, on the floor, face down. <laughs> or face this up. This is an evil item. What item is that? I've literally S never heard of this magic item. Some smoke starts coming out of the card. You are frozen in place, as you are so captivated by what is happening, you just cannot possibly look away. Can we learn to throw this card and use it as a weapon? You're not Where there. am I, by the way? Like, am I here? You are... You are about, about here now, yeah. Where's the card? The card is not right here. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get my little buddy for it here. You see this pop out of the card. Oh, I was drawing a little shape where the card was. See a little, you see a, a gnome. The one you saw on the card pops out of the card. A a gnome dressed in brightly colored jester's outfit and a very stylish and snazzy hat. It cackles and prances for but a moment. It looks at you, bows with a flourish. <laughs> and the entire ground starts shaking. 
Uh oh. As the gnome, the gesture, transforms. You see the big toothy grin and it shows up on his face. <laughs> it grows taller and taller until it reaches into the roof, completely destroying it. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are petrified with fear. You better fucking get out of there or get us up there somehow. Can I roll a wisdom saving throw to break myself out of the fear? Yes. <laughs> can you replace this size so we can see a scale? The, the creature, the creature is now this big. <laughs> and his head is going into the roof. <laughs> what did you get? 16 plus 4. Unnatural 20. You succeed, but you take... Mm. We just... I thought we were done, man. We're back. <sighs> what did I do, guys? <laughs> what yeah, did I do? Big. You take... Dude, it's a... It's you take goblin. seven points of fire damage. It's a treasure goblin. You look up, Diablo. and as the entire roof has crumbled above you, you back up, stagger it a bit, and you no longer see the gesture, but you see a incredibly tall, winged creature, and at his hands appears to be a whip made of fire. It is time to run. <laughs> It is time to run very, very fast. A what made of fire? A Guys? whip. A whip made of fire. You are no longer Guys? frightened, but it is, is time. It, it is time to a run. Demon? I might have summoned something from the nine hells. Let's fight it. This way. Yeah, let's fight it. As uh, before as you. I'm climbing, as before I'm like... you leave. You look back, and beyond your wildest nightmares, things that will haunt you forever in your dreams, you see what appears to be a creature with four wings, four hands, four horns on its head, its eyes red and bright, four of them, all red and bright, and then they all lock onto you. And it roars, an unearthly roar. So terrifying that everyone in the vicinity, even the guys down there, must make a wisdom saving throw. Is this a parademon? <laughs> Is this a fucking clerichin? Wait, what'd you say it was? Four wings, four hands, and four what? Four wings, four hands, and eight horns. At least four horns. Or four horns, yeah. My bad. My bad. This is also like what you. See. This is also what you see. Yeah, that's that is what yeah. you see. <laughs> when, kind of when you leave, when you leave oh. the room. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I don't think oh. I've got a single good roll this session. Is it a cornugon? I don't think I've gotten a single roll over ten this session. It's really starting everyone, to piss me Everyone in this hallway, as you're waiting for Alex to come back, you hear an unearthly roar, something so ancient, so vile, that it shakes you to your very core. It echoes throughout the caverns. It's just a red dragon. Guys, I might have released a threat to national security. Alex, this could you become are, an issue. Alex, you are so befuddled that you just, you just jump and slide down the cavern. I was gonna say, I'm like, I'm like fucking Looney Tunes, I'm fucking sprinting down this fucking cliff, dude. Rika. I'm like, get out of here, go, run, run! Rika, you're shaking to your core, but you wonder how Alex is doing. You look up and you see him just leap off the 70 foot drop. He slides down the cavern, completely destroying some of the wall in the process. And he slides back down, and he gets like up staggered and just fucking runs. <laughs> I I'm like grabbing people, I'm like, we're going, we're done, we're out. Go, 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 go. What, we can't fight it? Oh, this thing will probably fuck us up. This... no. <laughs> um... Yeah, guys, we're gone. We're done. 
Which way do we go, though? This, this way. Do you we go this way, way or this way? way. this way. The only other way to go, unless because someone broke your rope, so you gotta go this way. As, well, we're going deeper, boys. As go, 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 Seager, go, 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 go this go, way. Go, you go. hear the sound of running water. And you come across an underground cavern of some sort. Go, 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 go. What the fuck? I think it's gone. I don't see it. As you are running down the cavern, you you all hear an unearthly laughter. And then you hear the sound of something teleporting away. It w oh, dude, that was probably all an illusion. Dude, it was a fucking gesture. We probably just got played. That motherfucker probably mm -hmm. just pulled some charm illusion shit and fucked with us. Alex, as you are running away... <laughs> you are running down a cavern... And it's very, it's not, it's not a very wide cavern, but you hear the sound of running water, and you see light up ahead. You all take a moment to catch your breath, knowing that this, this creature, this thing that you have encountered, we don't probably, or that Alex has encountered at least. All, all you know is that Alex was scared to the core. <laughs> you are unsure of what happens. What do we see? You see, Alex is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> well, like, oh, okay, I couldn't, I wasn't in the right spot. I was uh, like, okay. Alex, what was that? I'm pretty sure that was all just an illusion. I mean, you don't even, you don't even know what it's. All you heard was a roar, and then Alex yeah, running. I I'm, I'm speechless, right? I can't even. I can't. Like, talk. You're not even sure how, you're not sure how to describe what you saw, I let alone. I don't say. Let alone like, even like seeing it. You're like, what was that? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna say, go, and I'm just gonna look straight forwards. <laughs> you look straight forwards, and as you, you calm yourself at least as much as you can, knowing that you are. As you turn the corner, you see, what appears to be. A very large cavern, and someone is indeed waiting for you. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? There is a giant boat here, and Ooh. out and at the end of this cavern leads out to sea. You mean our boat? The boat is currently under construction, so it can't be moved. Like it can't be moved. At us. It can't be moved at the moment. As you, all, as you all run into the there, these are bad guys that you just ran head first into. <laughs> as you all run in there, you hear and you hear up above you. You see what appears to be this. This you see two bandits and this warrior in very strange armor, almost like Sigurds, but more refined. And their blade is as the blade seems as sharp as 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 steel itself. Almost like you could cut through cut through steel like it's made of butter. Is that the big guy? The shield's of, made um, out of something better this, than this, steel. this guy right in front of you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck! Fuck him up. You hear? You see? Wolf at the top, looking down at you all. There you are. Messing with my affairs. Do you know what? How much you've cost me? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Have you seen the I'm meme? Still, like, yeah, I've seen it. Really meme. shook. <laughs> I'm like. I just stopped dead in my tracks. You stopped dead Have in your tracks. Seen, Have you seen, like, the alternate universe memes? I don't. <laughs> You took everything from me, and then it's just written over what he originally said. Oh, sorry, my bad. You, <laughs> you see, from from what you can gather, it's pretty, it's, it's like pretty lit up in this cavern, judging from the lights on the boats and so on. You see the bandit leader on top of the boat next to the two cannons. You aren't sure if they're armed because the height is just too much, just too much to compensate for. 
and you see someone on top of the crow's nest. They have very unique clothing. And they appear to have this weapon of unknown origin you've never seen before. <laughs> Describe it. Oh, beautiful. Wait, I Tanner, like do I have a do I have a flail or a morning star? You have a morning star. Okay, because a morning star is like a flail if there was no chain. See ya. But you so have a, you have a morning you have a morning star with a chain on it pretty much pretty much it's, so, a, it's pretty much a flail yeah but so a flail <laughs> basically yeah as Brigan as Brigan as Wolf looks at you all these intruders have caused enough mess take care of them W I'll pay you double to get rid of them. Fuck is W? I'm guessing it's the guy in the armor. It's probably mercenaries or some kind. I love how I love how Sigurd doesn't even have a fucking like icon. It's just a PNG. Just his face. Yeah, I couldn't get a good icon of him, so I just got a PNG his face. JPEG. JPEG. You see, on top of the tower, on top of the crow's nest, someone emerges in very unique clothing. It more it appears more like clothing than actual armor. Very very red. Mm. They appear to. From what you can gather from just looking at them, at least. This guy? The one in the crow's tower. This guy. Oh. From what you can gather from at least the spot you're at, they have short, silvery hair with red stripes. They're not very tall. And that's... And their clothing is of... Very... The clothing is... It, it looks like... Modified leather armor. This is what you can gather from it. It looks more like actual clothing than armor, though. But perhaps there is more than meets the eye. They appear to have... And then they pull out this this weapon, you assume. It looks... You are unsure of how this looks. You've never seen anything like this before in your life. Hmm. But it, it looks... It's a fucking gun? It's a gun, yeah. If only we had a gunslinger. As the person loads something into their gun and they shoot a grappling hook at the ground and just fly into the ground. <laughs> Time for Abigail. They walk up to the ledge. They they have the gun at their they have the weapon at their side, but they kinda like cross their arms a bit. You saying you pay me double to kill them? <laughs> yes, I will. Double with what money? They took everything. Clearly, I can see them, that's why they're here. <laughs> Wolf does not look very pleased at the answer. <laughs> and then, you just, you see, now they get a closer picture of her. She's, she looks almost insane. It's just a very rudimentary it's way of saying, insane. it's a very rudimentary way of saying that she looks insane. <laughs> she just walks away, just, she just walks away just laughing hysterically. <laughs> In video game League of Legends. Fox is laughing hysterically. Wolf turns That's around. Nice. Get back here! Ugh. Arm the cannons! Oh, she's, so, she's so small. <laughs> Man, she's not very tall. But she's a small lady that does the boom stuff to the yogurt. I know, I was gonna say, I'm gonna fucking beat her ass. <laughs> Alright. Fucking with my boy, I forgot his Arm name. Arm the cannons. Is she like a gnome or something, or like she, what is she? She is a very short human. Five oh. four. She is five four for a human, which is not very tall considering the rest of the humans no, in this area. Well, that's. It's it's like compared to the rest of the humans in this area, she's pretty small. Oh, fair enough. Like most of the humans here are like average six one, with females being like five nine, five ten. Cool. And that that he he is like. 50 feet up so you got and then there is you can notice oh. that there is scaffolding around going around the side and there does appear to be but this appear to be blocked by what appears to be seven different targets and people shooting cannons at you oh oh thank god i was almost worried they wouldn't shoot cannons 
we should probably stop. Yeah, this is where we will. No, 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 no. Yeah, before we start the combat encounter, we should stop. Um, I have a big idea that might speed the encounter up. Hmm. So, sunburst, range of 150 feet, radius of 60 feet. I could hit every single enemy on that boat with 12d6 radiant damage. That is true. Holy shit. And probably blow up a part of the boat, too. I'd probably kill most of the people on that boat, but the big people. That is well, true. Well, that's one hell of a value. Do and even you... the big people are going to be, like, all bloodied. Do you want to try it? It depends on if we Let's want to. Let's just save it for the next session. Yeah, just just mark mark the idea down somewhere, and then we can start off with that. Well, the thing is, when's our next session going to be? Probably next week. next week. Probably next week, or we capture. We're all busy next week. Mm. What about Saturday? Maybe. It all depends. I'm hanging out with people on Saturday. Just mark it down somewhere. This is where we'll end the session. We better fucking get... Actually, we don't have anybody with us right now, so there's no point in getting anybody else. Just say, let's fucking get Noah for this, but Noah's character's not here. I can just say he was there. He also, was just, he was just hiding. Noah would not join. Yeah. It's a battle of a lifetime. Noah does not care.